Okay, let's get started with the summary of session from of last session, which was session forty-seven. Uh, and I already saw I already see a typo in my summary. Okay, <laughs> um, so we started out our last game with Melanie and Theo engaging archers at the top of the gatehouse, and then while they were on the gatehouse, the cavalry went up the stairs, and there was a half elven mage, which. Melanie, you know, tried to do some non-lethal shit, and then Theo kind of incinerated her before begging Melanie to jump off the gatehouse. Um, meanwhile, while that was happening, uh, Rain, with her friends Goford, like, in the portable hole, drank a potion of levitation and crawled her way down the side of the prison tower. Th that, that took a while. And then, while that was happening, Zaitari in front of the moat and the gatehouses uh, tried to get a major move off, couldn't because she was counterspelled by some gnome asshole. And eventually... He was a gnome? He, 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 he was a gnome. He was a gnome. We never knew. <laughs> well, he was a gnome. Um, I, didn't, I didn't mention that. There were... At the start of the uh, infiltration of the fortress, there were th four mages um, on active duty. You killed one, two... I don't think... You didn't kill the gnome, and you didn't kill the peaky person that was in the prison tower. That I remember. So you killed two, left two alive. Uh, Team Zaitari headed toward the trees. As they were headed toward the trees, they came in contact with the other half of the cavalry, which Zaitari convinced through spell to not go back. So she got three, I believe. The others went back to the castle. Yeah, I got three of them. And then after Team Melanie and Team Rain met up with each other, uh, Theo casted suggestion on one of the leader types with the cavalry that was above you guys and told them to go look for the cultists instead of making a sandwich. Mm -hmm. with... And then, let's see, Melanie ran down the beach as she was bombarded by uh, oh. light cannonball fire. Uh, summoned the token boat, and you guys went into the boat, tossed one last Greek fire at the schooner, which caught its sails on fire, and made a speedy recovery, a speedy escape down the coast, while Zaitari made a speedy escape through trees. While you were on the swan boat and, you know, rec uh, talking with your sister Tilda and, you know, feeding and making sure everybody was fed and watered, you guys discovered that the old man that was in the prison tower, who you brought along with you, was named Iskin. Isn't that a coinky dink? Uh, Iskin Trevere was the name he gave you, the younger brother of Baldwin Trevere, and you quickly figured out Rain's father. And do, 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 do. Uh, honestly, Rain probably spent the night invisible, thinking of just killing him. <laughs> right, probably, probably before you guys met up with the target, who you contacted and told her. Hey, tell Iskin Jr. to use his other pseudo name, Alex. But I didn't tell me why. Didn't tell you why. I, did, did you, Zaitari has no idea. I am just imagining seeing your face if we hadn't taken him out of the prison and he'd just be like, fuck all you guys. He was right there. <laughs> so. You guys also told Zaitari that you would reconvene at another point uh, down the coast. And eventually, you met up with Zaitari, camped out in the woods. 
Rain was able to follow Iskin Sr., as he is now dubbed, in the woods, question him, ask him why he abandoned them for so many years, and she received an explanation. Sort of. Kind of. Don't know whether she believes that explanation or not. So, after that night, you guys headed back to Valido, uh, stopped in the Quivering Hills, learned from one hand that Ghost was successful in her infiltration at the Etienne estate and always was masquerading as the Lord, who was now in their possession. There was a unpleasant un encounter with Tilda and one hand one tilda wanted to have lord tobias meet judgment one had said you'll see him when we're done with him they got into an argument Tilda stormed off one hand proceeded to tell rain and zaitari that a few things have happened first of all that the group was demoted from special ops to regular members because of the way they confronted Ghost and a little bit of the way they confronted One Hand and a little bit of the way they insulted the leader of the guild they are currently in. And because of that demotion and a fine on the team leader, Alexandria, of 10,000 gold pieces. Uh, also, that since some of you could not play well with others, you guys would be tasked with working with fellow Gadarnian guild members Serena and Axe, who are in charge of curing Lord, Lord Allard and Lord and Lady Allard's son, youngest son Galloway, who has who had been inflicted with a curse and in exchange for removing the curse that has been afflicted on Galloway, the Allards would form an alliance with the Leonian treasure hunters. After information was exchanged, Rain went to go find Tilda and spoke to her about what happened, what had been bestowed upon the group, and about Rain's Trevier problems. <coughs> And that's where we left off. <clears throat> Any questions? No questions. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. So, yeah. the Allard estate is actually west. I forgot my directions of where you guys currently are. And... It is actually not too, it's not too far away from the, the, the Argent estate, the estate that you uh, met one hand at. So it's going to be probably a 10, maybe 11 hour trip to Duke Allard's place. Uh, is there anything you guys want to get in town before you head out there? Also, what are you guys doing with Iskin Sr.? Oh, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, he's just a random old guy. <laughs> oh, the anger. Who Rain, Rain just stares at with daggers. <laughs> she stares at everyone with daggers. <laughs> deadly, more deadly daggers. Also, Iskin... Yeah. Junior is very confused too. Nenrin is somewhat oblivious to the tension because he is being a shop list. Um, you cut out a very, a very long. I'm Nenrin's making a shopping list, so he's not paying attention uh -huh. to any of the tension. He was written as uh, pretty beat up and out of shape. I don't think we drag him along. I think uh, Rain would probably talk to him and. See if he's going to be staying. If he wanted to stay here with the treasure hunters, he would be safest, and she would know where to find them for whatever purpose she may need to find them. 
he he you 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 didn't you 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 did notice that he had a very difficult time keeping up with you guys. He's been you know he's been in the cell for over ten years. He's malnourished. He hasn't exactly been getting exercise, so he would definitely slow you down. Yeah, so um, I guess Rain would begrudgingly invite him to stay. Probably at where were we? <laughs> well, which you are in the quivering, uh, the quivering, quivering hills. hills. Yeah. Does anyone feel like it'd be a good idea for me to keep the components of a hollow spell on me, or is that something we should purchase as needed? Um, at the moment, I, I can't see it coming in uh, handy, but... Yeah, because doesn't it take, like, a day? It takes 24 hours, yeah. Yeah, I don't think so, because what we're going to be going and doing... Ooh. Anywhere uh, where it's going to take us 24 hours to do it, it's not going to be any harder probably for 30 well, hours to get the components from yeah. the armor. Yeah. So, yeah, but uh, that curse that we need to remove does take time. Yeah, but so, it's a remove curse spell. Well, I know, but like um, Aaron said last game, like when she was describing the process for the curse, like they needed somebody to remove the curse, and also there was like a process beforehand. So it's going to be like that ritual... Thing where there's just gonna be like some prep time and stuff happening while things are going on, like with uh, Alexandria and the Glass Desert. Yeah, I mean that's fine with me. It's the the curse. My part in the remove curse would be removing the curse, and that's a snap. It's nothing. However, I do need a scrying focus, and I need a bunch of incense and some ivory. If anyone wants to help me track all this down, I'll go. Okay, I need ask. I need a scrying focus, like a crystal ball or a mirror or something of that nature. It's got to be at least a thousand gold, and then I need two hundred fifty gold worth of incense, and then four ivory strips that are fifty gold a piece or more. Yeah, Satari has only seen the quivering hills and the slums of Valido, so she'd be interested in seeing other stuff in the city. No, well, if you guys well, want, I can take you guys shopping so we can, I can make more of that fire, those fire grenades. Yes, they were so useful. I can definitely make more of those. They're just, it's common, like, gardening supplies. It's not a big deal. Uh, Melanie will also come on the shopping trip as any excuse to get out of the extremely uh, tent area full of angry people. <laughs> Are we going to have a cart going for this 11-hour trip? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because Zaitari was with the cart when she and she and Co escaped, I believe. They tied the cart yes. to the tree. So yes. you guys have a cart. Perfect. Now I just I don't remember how much you gave me of each of those ingredients the last time, but I would for the Greek fire. Mm -hmm. But I guess like a hogshead of each one so I can make many a grenade. Yes, I believe that was the Deal. I would have to scroll up in chat to see how much. Yeah, I I'm trying to you. load up the chat log right now, and it's just not. <laughs> as long as that hasn't become our answer to everything, because to be honest, that would just be fucking boring. Yeah. Also, we should probably get some sort of uh, something to pad them really well, so that there's no uh, accidents. Yeah, that's a fantastic Hello? idea. Okay. Yeah, we hear you. Awesome. Sorry. It's I. Just wanted to get out of the damn uh, browser because it was driving me nuts. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we do. <laughs> okay, I'm just like everybody <laughs> suddenly stopped talking. So everybody. I'm I'm having some stuttering. Okay, I have the I have the how much I gave you last time and how much for, so okay. I will I'm just gonna put that in chat so we can find it again. And yeah, all that perfect. was for twenty gold pieces. Was... Yeah, it yeah. wasn't a lot and that made I mean how many grenades did that make? It was six and then two quick flash fires? Was mm -hmm. that what is what I gave you guys? I think so. It's been a month, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't want to make a ton of it right now, 
but that way if we need to we can have the supplies necessary or the supplies necessary to make one very very big one yeah but that's what i mean that was like a really quick shopping trip for you if you guys yes. need to be go go if you guys want to shop for a little longer, then that's that's cool. But, all right, so you're looking for Greek fire supplies. Anything else for Nenrine? A scrying focus, bulk incense, and ivory. Scrying focus, bulk incense, and I need 250 ivory. gold worth of incense. That's a lot of incense. So How, like... Okay, I'm trying to. Know, imagine... Maybe it's just made of insanely rare wood. Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna see if it's anywhere in the player's handbook because I want to know how much that is. I know incense is listed. It's but... under like trade supplies. Yeah, I believe it's under tr like. There's that big list of stuff, and I think incense is part of that. Mm. Incense... Nope. Yeah. Maybe not. I just, mm -hmm. I just know there's a whole... I just know it's it's fairly cheap. That's it, it's you know, one square yard of silk for 10 gold pieces. It's, yeah. par it's part of the priest pack, which is 19 gold pieces, and it, that includes two blocks of incense. Yeah, and everything else in the priest pack costs more. <laughs> Because it's vestments and rations and stuff. If if you want that much incense, oh dear God! Uh, I need to spend two hundred and fifty gold on incense. That's just that's what I know. All right, you you, you could get probably a, a a sack of incense of like decent quality from a decent quality wood. I would say, like. If you want to go with that, if you want to buy more incense, incense that's made out of lesser material, maybe four sacks of incense. Toss it in the cart. We could get like a, a small house worth of incense if it was like pine. Yes. Just like lowest quality tree ever. Go with that. Get a huge amount. Because <laughs> uh, I guess it'll just come down to, because I want to use Legend Lord to get some information on Southern Lanx and the Sailor's Graveyard where the magical item cache is. Mm, okay. Did you guys okay. want me to have, how many Legend Lores do you guys want me to have access to so I could find information on various things? Because it's 250 gold worth of incense that the spell consumes every single time I cast it. Mm. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. It clerics I think the expensive. incense is just made out of platinum. <laughs> Um, just, just set the coins on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale the toxic fumes. Mm. Mm, God, this incense smells like cancer. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so it, I guess it depends on the group. Is, is there anything that you want me to flash research with Legend War besides Southern Lakes? Hmm. I think like I mean, two or three is probably good, but it's a lot of because it, it's a lot of incense and it's two hundred and fifty golds worth per spell. Yeah, plus the uh, two hundred gold for the ivory, plus the one thousand for scrying. I feel like we should probably do that one kind of like Hallow, where unless you have something in mind, maybe not get a ton of that supply yet. I just want I want one pretty quick for the sailors' graveyard in Southern Lakes. Yeah. But, so yeah, I just, I need the scrying focus then, a ton of incense, and then the four ivory strips. So that's a total of 1,450 gold. Well, since a couple of us are shopping, we could split up the list. Mm. If somebody uh, wants to get the Greek fire stuff too, because that's, if we want to have that as a reserve. We don't need it, but we can have it as a reserve. How much was the uh, total that you needed? For spell components, 1,450. Gold pieces? I don't know. 1,450? Yeah, we can... Um... We can afford that. I'll give you, um... 1,450 from... Uh... 
group funds. Cool. And I will, with help, put her around and track down all this stuff before we have to leave. Okay. I'm also going to go to a bank and convert all of my gold pieces into <laughs> platinum. Oh, you could definitely That's find a, a bank idea. in like the. That's yeah, not a bad area. idea. Like yeah. yeah, I did the conversions. Yeah, I'm gonna like... convert my seven thousand gold pieces of platinum. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because like, there is a point where it, it does get too heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like whoop, get some, uh, do that exchange. I guess I better do that as well. Easily done. Easily done. They don't mind at all. This town <laughs> is full of rich people. Here's some gold. G give me platinum, Are... please. <sighs> Them. I really wish, like, see, here's the thing. I think Tilda would actually stay. You know, you guys want to go shopping. Tilda knows all the best places, and <laughs> this is one of those things where, like, she can't go out and do things because we have the. You can use the hat of disguise. Yeah, but like, I also am proficient in a disguise kit. I could disguise you. Could you use your disguise kit and the hat disguise to make like a really crazy NPC to see through it? <laughs> um, see, here's the thing though. Tilda would want to um, take Rosamond with her. And considering um, Rosamond is supposed to be like missing. Yeah, not there. Yeah, <laughs> Tilda's supposed to be missing. Like, <laughs> the Galantor girl's just waltzing around. Either of them just waltzing around the shops of Valido. Oh, oh, wait. So here, this is the thing. You can just say that you're disguised as the Galantra girl. <laughs> 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 yes, it's rather good, isn't it? Shh. Um, do we need beholder pieces for any particular reason? Uh, beholder I mean... pieces? Oh, that's right. We took the body... We took some pieces off. Yes, we did. Out. I'm sure we could find a uh, potion maker that would love to buy them. Okay, because I've got... I'm trying to do a tiny bit of inventory management right now. Um, and I'm running into situations of... I have, like, different forms of diamond for all my spells. And I need to keep track of them all separately. So, I don't have a lot of inventory space left. So... 6,971 gold pieces, leaving leaving over one, would be 697 platinum, right? Yeah, just yeah, move just the decimal, decimal point. point. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Um, and if you want to sell those, those beholder pieces, you can take them to the Omni Pharmacon. I will um, do this. Well, I would also like to go to a, like an alchemist and see if I can find any fun, useful potions. Okay. Um, yeah, the, Ar the Omni Pharmacon is one of the larger alchemy places in town. and you, I'm going there, too. You being the, the a person from Leona you, and visiting Valido a few times, you definitely know that. Okay. The... You could think of the Omni Pharmacon like a CVS. Except <laughs> nice. <laughs> except <laughs> Oh god, watch out for the receipts. <laughs> the 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 re the um the receipts are very long. Um if you buy a lot of stuff, they do give you discounts on things that, you know, you can come back later to pick up or that kind of thing. Uh, and there's probably six farm six alchemists on deck kind of how you run into a cvs that's 24 hours and there's always like three or four people behind the de behind the counter not doing anything and then you're just waiting there for 50 minutes waiting for them to do shit anyways i'm sure. not i'm not Absolutely. i'm not bitter at all at cvs i'm not i'm not <laughs> definitely not bitter at all <laughs> no so you can go there and you want to sell your beholder parts Yes, I just have in my inventory beholder bits. Okay, beholder bits. Uh, nice alliteration. I'm pretty sure it was some eye stocks. Okay. Like a handful of eye stocks. Even though they are 
decomposing because you got them from a zombie beholder. They are yes. sti still in decent enough condition for them to get some Icor substance from them. So they're willing to give you... How many bits I'd stocks? Um, they're willing to take 50 gold off your purchase or give you 50 gold for these beholder eye stocks if you so wish um they also have a long list of powdered plants and other things that could help you if you want is there anything in particular you're looking for they ask uh, i'm just here to offload the ball so I'll take the 50 gold. Okay, they, they they do it in exchange, give you the 50 gold. No problem whatsoever. <clears throat> I will step up to the counter. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome to Omni PharmaCon. How can we help you? Uh, I am interested in a couple of things. And um, I'm interested in particularly in healing potions mm -hmm. uh specifically if you have ones that are better than the base that would be perfect okay um we actually do uh are you affiliated with any particular guild or so our health insurance basically <laughs> or merchant that you could get a discount from we have Greater, superior, and... Would I know off the top of my head if the treasure hunters would be recognized in that fashion? Um, probably. They're, from what you have understand, working with the treasure hunters for a bit, they tend to have a organization in each major city. Each major city. And mm -hmm. there are a couple places that would be associated with that discount. And can I flash my library card from the Compendium of Knowledge and get a discount? Uh, you can try it and see what happens. I I I don't know if it's as I don't know if it's known in this part of the world. Okay. Um. Well, they like. So I would just ask them. <laughs> um. They, the 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 girl, the woman with the coke bottle glasses looks at the card. We can give you a discount. You're also it appears that you are in a unite that could warrant yeah. a small mm -hmm. discount as well. We are friends with the Thundrum Mage Order and with the Order of Ayun. So uh, do, that, do these discounts stack? Mm. Yes. I start to pull out my treasure hunter badge as well. Yes, they do. <laughs> they do stack. Um, so let's see. If you want to give me the money to buy these things, I might be able to get a double discount. Well, I'm particularly interested in greater healing potions. Um, All right. Let's... How much? Like, how much do you think you need? Alright, let's see... Healing... Uh... I'm more interested in seeing how many he has. Okay, so the price for... Because I think we're, f we're fresh out of potions, yeah. I think. Okay, I have so... two. The Greater he Hearing Potions, which we currently have... You're, you're in luck, we have ten in stock. <laughs> Uh, will run you normally 150 gold per. Mm -hmm. uh, we have superior healing potions. Unfortunately, we only have three of those in stock currently. Uh, those will run you 450 gold per. Or, or discounts. Um, so given this discount, uh, Treasure Hunter 5%, I unite additional 5%, uh, part of the Library Consortium 2%, uh, that will get you 12% off your purchase, sir. That's bad. Uh, we are also running a special currently on 
where is the there we go we are currently oh, offer yeah, we're currently running a special on potion of resistances uh we have both poison and acid in stock normally those run about 300 gold per but because because we are we have a special on those two because somebody did the inventory <laughs> wrong she looks back at a, a sheepish looking boy and ordered more than anyways uh those are currently going for 270 per instead of 300. and what did you say acid and what else poison poison if you want to buy those superior healing potions through me they'll be three something 394 a bottle instead of 450. i think it might be a good idea to get a potion of superior healing, three mm -hmm. greater, and also a resistance to acid. Yes. I mean, I'm not sure. She, I, I'm not going to waste a sending spell to ask Tilda, and I don't know how close we are, but I'm not sure if she has protection from energy. But that I'm is something I can always prepare it as well. So. But okay. <clears throat> Mostly, I'm just thinking, when the DM says that there's a potion of resistance to acid specifically that's on sale, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your order, so was that four greater and one superior? Uh, three greater. Three greater. One superior. Alright, one and superior. And a potion of resistance to acid. Okay, potion of resistance to acid. So, um, normally that would be 450 plus 450 plus the um, 270. Uh, so, seven, carry this. Let me get my calculator. Take 12% off of that. Oh, come on, phone. Don't do this to me. There we go. Uh, 450, 450, 270. All right. Um, so that is, so before your discount, that's 1,170 gold. So that will bring your total down to 1,029 uh, gold pieces and six silver. Okay. <coughs> what kind of person is standing in front of? Uh, straight black hair, coke bottle glasses, freckles on the face, very nerdy looking human woman okay. in very plain robes <laughs> with a, with a give... no name tag that says Zelda. Hmm. I give my most charming smile, uh, well, Zelda. Uh, I feel like maybe you might be able to do better than that. And I give her a wink and I'm going to roll persuasion to try and roll it. Okay. <laughs> Get her to lower the price. Okay, more. that's fine. And Nenrin's just being the best wingman he can be by like nodding knowingly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think those prices will be fine. Unfortunately, ma'am, th though you are giving us such a large order um i you know un unless i go back t to my supervisor and i think my supervisor is busy she hasn't come back from lunch yet i would have to run it by her you understand i'm i i just work i just i just work here of course maybe next time maybe next time uh, when she's around i yeah. love the in an honest to god cbs <laughs> Uh, I'll take the potions and put them in my bag and hold them. Okay, sounds good. Move. I'm gonna mark them on the, uh, in... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we also have a variety of, uh, herbs on sale, but... Can I get my incense from here while I'm here? Uh, yeah, you can actually get incense from here if they carry that. Uh, Instead of making a special trip, I'll just 
load up my incense here. Uh, what kind of wood of incense? What kind of incense are you looking for? We have yew, ash, willow, pine. <clears throat> the expensive kind. The yes. expensive the kind. Very expensive kind. I, I set down a pouch of two hundred and fifty gold. I this much see. incense. Okay. Yes. We can provide you ash willow, which. I can tell you the properties of Ashwell, which will, if will, they will suffice to your needs. Normally grown I... in jungles, um, we got this specially imported from the wilds. They are very large trees that have naturally burning leaves, so these will burn very well, even in the rain. Okay, um, I just need it to cost 250 gold. Okay. Um... It's, it's a, I'm about to enter a small trance, and it's just going to disappear instantly, so I'm more concerned about the monetary value of it. Ah, I see. Uh, she produces a block of ash willow incense, uh, about the size of a one of those pale yellow standard folders you buy at the office supply store. Uh, this block... Uh, will cost you 250 goat pieces. Fantastic. And they're like, you know, there's sticks of incense in each block, so. Yeah, I'm just about to like smash the thing on the ground and sit on it and think really <laughs> hard about an island. I still so. on the ground! <laughs> I'm not very picky, but I will, I will take it happily. Okay. Um, and how... just start shoving it into my bag of holding. Okay, uh, we, we can provide a, a, a box so you, you don't have to, okay, here you go. Okay. Like I said, it's it's not for burning. It's about to be blinked out of existence by my goddess accepting it into her. So, fair enough. Just make sure it does not come in contact with other flammable material. It's in an extra dimensional space. I think it'll be okay. Okay. Just just you know, we we've had accidents before in the store, so I need to yes, I, give that I understand. warning. You have to do the disclaimers. I understand. It's, I am a follower of Ayun. I I do know things. I, I'm a follower of my name. I, I know stuff. <laughs> you know a lot of stuff. Thank you. <laughs> I just um, broke down the interior form of a riot anarchy but by spending two hours in a city hall. I know stuff. I get really emotional and I walk out to go find a mirror. Okay. Yeah. Um, while I'm still in the shop, uh, I'm going to ask over the brooch uh, to Rain. Um, Rain, dear, is there anything that you need? Um, where I'm currently at a uh, herbalist supply store. Do you need anything for potions or poisons? Rain, dear. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, potion uh, what? I, if there were any potions of heroism or oils of slipperiness, I would like uh, up to two of each if possible. Okay, is there a price point that you're comfortable at? Eh. Don't let him rip us off. Just okay. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, I come back to the counter. Oh, I'm sorry. I just forgot. Um, do you have any potions of heroism or oils of slipperiness? Uh, we have currently have three potions of heroism in stock for 180 gold each. And no oils. Oils. Oh, let's okay. see. She's looking in her inventory, inventory list. Oil. Oil of slipperiness. Uh, we only have two in stock. Uh, each one will cost 480 gold. Jeez. Um, can I make an insight check to see if these prices are, like, normal? Yeah, sure. You can make an insight check. Okay. Um, yeah, it sounds normal for this area. It, it mostly depends on supply. It, the, the store, generally, you think, you know, of course, like any store, uh, really mm -hmm. reacts strongly to sl supply and demand. So it, it's, an un it's an uncommon resource. So they probably mm -hmm. don't keep that many in stock at a time. And it's probably not... You know, profit profit margin probably wouldn't mm -hmm. be, you know. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm sorry, how much was it before for the other potions? Uh, 100... Sorry. 180 One... gold for the Hyrosum, which you have three of, and mm -hmm. 480 per oil of slipperiness. Okay. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll take the two oils of slipperiness that you have, and also two of your potions of heroism. Okay. Uh, and while she's getting those, I'm going to cast Enhance Ability on myself. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do, do Charisma to give myself advantage. Okay. Excuse me, man, what are you doing? The, while she was looking away from me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not not just right in front of her. I was, I was gonna do it when she was getting the potions. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm picking my nose. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh... Oh, you know, I'm just muttering and making hand gestures. Don't worry about me. Okay. So it, before your uh... discount, that comes to 100, 320 gold with your discount. That comes to 1,161 gold and six silver pieces. 1,160. Okay. Have that now. <clears throat> Which one is it? Yeah, Eagle Splendor. Okay. Um, for the advantage on the charisma checks. Okay. Um, you know... I did just... I, I am going to be spending another almost thousand gold pieces here. Mm -hmm. Are you sure we can't do a little bit better on that prize? Okay. I give her another wink. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Well, I can probably, since you already made such a big purchase earlier, I can probably knock off th uh, probably a hundred gold on that. And let's just call it... And, uh, we'll Why don't we just call it a thousand even? Yeah, we'll call it a thousand even. A thousand even's good. I like that. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. And I extend my hand over the counter to right. shake it. She, she shakes she shake it. hers. And says, right. well, if you ever need any of your uh, alchemy needs, uh, please come back. All right. Um, once they are done, I would like to uh, head up to the counter. Okay. Hello, welcome to OmniPharmaCon. How may I help you today? Hi. Um, <clears throat> I am looking for... Am I doing Ella's voice? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, what the hell happened yeah. to your accent? Uh, yes, you were. You were doing Ella's voice. I keep That's doing the wrong week. voice for each, <laughs> for each week. Oh, you guys. Uh... I am looking. Ah, uh, God! I'm looking for uh, <laughs> some, <laughs> uh, some combat potions. Uh, something of maybe fire breathing, uh, giant strength, uh, uh, enlarging. Do you have anything fun like that? Okay. Uh... Yeah, that's definitely Bryn. <laughs> yeah, that's just my voice. I'm trying to remember my voice, and I'm just trying to get this done. So I'm not taking up you guys' time remembering how I talk. <laughs> Um, we currently do not have any giant strength potions in stock, unfortunately. Uh, over the past few weeks, many a uh, few people, mercenaries, have been looking for such thing. However, fire breathing. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, oh, right. Potion of fire thinking. breath. Uh, we currently have one in stock. At 150 gold. Okay. Uh, any of uh, growth or anything like that? Um, growth. Let's take a look. Uh, gaseous form. Growth. Uh, we do have a potion of one potion of growth at 270 gold. And gaseous form, that doesn't come in too often, but we can take a look. Uh, oh, you're in luck. We have one potion of gaseous form at 300 gold pieces. Cool. <clears throat> um, mm, 
All right. Um, Will you be I... using your friend's discount as well if you are purchasing today? Uh, that would... That, uh, that would... God damn it, guys. <laughs> what the hell did my voice sound like? Uh, it's been a month. It was kind That'd of like great. a posh British accent. All right, governor. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I mean, I was about to say, that it wasn't it. quite as... Uh, <laughs> it wasn't quite oh. as posh as Tilda's, I don't think, but it was... Um, th yeah, there was a bit of uh, something else. Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, Dick Van Dyke. Is. I'm trying to remember who I used to as the inspiration for it. I can't remember because I usually listen to somebody and then I pull it out and I can't remember who I listen to. Um, I am going to grab the. Uh, I'll take the enlarge, uh, the growth the potion mm -hmm. of growth, and the potion of fire breathing. Okay. Uh, with my friend's discount. Uh, what does that run me? Um, so, 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 so far, Norm normally 420 gold pieces with the discount, that would be, come on, calculator, <laughs> I can't do, I, 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 it's point one twenty five minus 420, uh, 369 gold and six silver pieces. I'm sorry, I was chewing on a pretzel. <laughs> so I have no idea what number you just said. 369 gold and six silver. I can do that. Okay. 369. And how much What? Wait, I think that was it? how much silver. Oh, <laughs> six, six. No. Uh, can we just round that to 370 so I can do the math? <laughs> sure, 370. <laughs> I don't have any silver, I just have gold. <laughs> we, we can give you change. I don't want your pennies. Dimes. Dimes. Wait, what's smaller? Oh yeah, that would be it. Well, it'd be a nickel, kind of. All right. Uh, okay. I will buy those. One growth, one fire breathing. Okay. I had to track down some cough drops. <coughs> All right. Um, so I th is that everybody at the alchemy shop? I yeah, so. I think okay. so. Did you still want your scrying focus in Ivory and Enrin? Yeah, I'm assuming they're going to be in kind of the same place. I'm, I'm looking for a silver mirror and some ivory strips. Okay. Um, what was the first thing after the ivory strips? Before the ivory strips? A silver hand mirror. A silver hand mirror. Okay, I got yeah. you. That's one of the possible focuses. Okay. okay. Uh, <coughs> a silver hand mirror is going to cost you. Um, uh, 10 gold pieces, roughly. Uh, this is a really fancy one that's worth a thousand. Okay. Because it's for scrying. You could probably find a very fancy one. Um, that's what I figured if I go somewhere with a really fancy hand mirror, they're probably also going to have like ivory hanging around. Yeah. Um, let's see. Ivory. Yeah. I just need You've ivory. Got a resource. For it before you left, you had a resource. <laughs> Tilda, uh, where would you find this? <laughs> I mean, I probably would have asked Tilda, like, where would I go for like, home decor? Because that's what this is. Basically, yeah. <clears throat> um, so you're, are you, you, yeah. So, uh, Omni Pharmacon probably doesn't have those, but Tilda probably would have told you that the place to go for that is the... <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, illuminations. 
would be the place. They they <laughs> mostly they do chandeliers, home decor, that kind of thing. Anything to make your place look really really fancy. Um, and the ivory is going to cost you. I need four strips that are worth 50 gold apiece. Uh, they can probably just find that for you of varying sizes. Yeah, as long as it, it adds up to that. Yep, uh, they could do that, and they also can get, provide you that really expansive mirror. Fantastic. <coughs> oh, my voice is shredded now. Um, that's all I needed. I just needed my mirror and okay. my ivory strips, but I will peruse for just hair accessories while I'm in there. Okay, sounds good. They have actually a variety of antique hair accessories. Very vintage. All right, um, like some hair combs? If I can get two matching sets of hair combs, that'd be fantastic. Mm, they do have a <laughs> pair of matching hair combs in, weirdly, the shape of Swans? Not that weird. Swans. Swan hair combs. Yeah. Okay. A uh, pair of swan hair combs made of silver. Um, the pair will cost you like 10 gold. All right. And are there two of these or just one? As I said, they only have one pair of hair combs in the entire store? No, I mean, they, they have the, the ones that look like swans. Uh, there's, there's one that looks like kind of like a scarab beetle type of deal. Um, they also have a pair mm -hmm. that looks like penguins. It, it, okay. it, was, it was a custom order, and the person who ordered them died, so now they have penguins. It's because they liked penguins. Okay, I'm, I'll get the, the beetle and the swan one. Alright, so that's 20 gold for... Two that, gold. plus the 200 gold for the ivory, plus 1,000 gold. Yes. For my scrying focus. Um. Yep, I saw your. I'm. I'm. I'm typing things. Oh no 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 no! I was gonna just while you're getting to that. Uh, over the bridge. Uh, while we're out on our shopping trip, and Tilda isn't here, I'm sure like dying on the inside because she can't shop. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Tilda, is there anything that you need while we're out? Need? No, darling. Want? Is there anything that you want? You know, I'm surprised you're even offering. I know how much you love shopping, Tilda. Um. If you could look for some, some, uh, first of all, spell scrolls. Um. Okay. Secondly, if you could find something um, <clears throat> similar to what uh, Theodric and I wear, the um, amulets of non-detection, if you can find one of those. <coughs> Any particular kinds of spell scrolls? Divination, first and foremost. Um, anything else is... Um, well, I suppose I could see what they have and tell you mm -hmm, what Exactly. Um, tell me, is there anything that your sister particularly likes? Like, is there a favorite animal, a favorite color? Uh, do you like gold or silver? Uh, do you <laughs> like putting things in her hair or necklaces or things like that? Unfortunately, um, <laughs> Rosamond's hair doesn't, uh, have the body that um, is needed to sort of hold things uh, within it, but um, if you happen upon something that uh, <clears throat> um, I'll be honest, I didn't give any sort of 
thought to this part of her personality. <laughs> oh no, no, it's fine. Make, make it up she now. Loves I know. Uh, she loves penguins. Yeah, that would be hilarious. Um, um, she is sort of fond of um albatross. Poor. <laughs> <laughs> She's fond of the pelican. It takes her. It, it makes her eyes pop. Green. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, nothing too intense, though. Um, she doesn't like to be. She doesn't like to stand out in a crowd. Um, something simple, but elegant. Um, if you find something like that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I've got it. I need a magic shop. <laughs> Um, you... And then I need a jewelry store. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> at, for a magic shop, uh, Tilda, you know spears and orbs. They carry most general magic supplies, scrolls, that kind of thing. Um, for Spears and orbs. Yep. That's where you want to go. And for a... Ma no, for a jewelry <laughs> store... You could probably try the the Risen Phoenix for a jewelry store. Okay, cool. Um, Mine's gonna be a super quick stop because I need something very specific. Yes. Um, for yet another spell. Yeah, I'll inform everybody that I'm going to be heading to the magic shop next. If anybody also needs to go. Yeah, I will join you once I get my rings. Melanie, do you need to go to the magic <laughs> item store? Um, uh, there's not anything that I need, but I will gladly accompany you. Oh, Melanie, okay. do you want your AC increased? Oh, always. <laughs> because these, these rings I'm getting are for a spell that will... So if you want to be the one who primarily benefits from it, I should have a ring that fits you specifically. Well, I would be happy to benefit from that. <clears throat> it'll it'll take two minutes to get sized. They're very plain rings, so it's nothing fancy. And then we'll do at the magic store. Sure, we can do the jewelry store first. It'll be it'll be very quick. It's a very simple thing. <laughs> I'm not. <here. laughs> I did have a couple items I wanted to get, but because they they are of a uh, thievish and roguish nature, I thought we might say that um. That's what I ducked out and did to some of the shops that Tilda would not know about that I would. Okay. Mm. Yeah. We can Fair enough. Uh, so, jewelry store first. Mm. Okay. Um, you go into a very upscale, lovely jewelry store. Kind of reminds you of one of those um, classier than K's. <laughs> Imagine if the De Beers owned a jewelry store. That's what they would have, and it's full of diamonds. Uh, there is a s s more a, a, a stouter than usual dwarf in, that's balding uh, with one of those eyepiece magnifying glasses. That's, that looks like it's permanently kind of stuck to his uh, to his left eye, and he says, "Welcome to the Risen Phoenix. I am Qual. How can I help you?" Uh, hi, hello. I'm looking for a very set of rings. Very, very modest for my friend and I, and I gesture over Melanie. Um, okay. We just, we need them hello. sized. Platinum. About 25 gold a piece. Nothing fancy. Okay. Um, that I could definitely help you with that. You were looking for a platinum what again? A ring. Ring, ring, okay. Um, Just a plain ring, nothing. Plain ring. With no meaning attached. Okay. A, a, a band probably would suit that. Um, yes. And how much were you looking to spend again? 50 total for the two rings. I what? have very tiny fingers, so it shouldn't be a problem. Pinky rings would suffice? We also have... Just any ring. Okay. Um, uh, not toe ring. Okay, no toe rings. Got you. Uh, he brings out a very simple pair of platinum 
rings. They look like they could probably fit a woman or very another you know very slender human individual. Um, so yes, that though that pair will cost you. You said fifty, right? Yeah, fifty. Um, so yep, two small platinum rings. Um, anything else? Uh, that was it, and I passed one to Melanie, and I put one on my pink finger. Okay. Um, and this way, whenever I cast, it'll automatically hone in on the two of us. Wonderful. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you very much for your business. Before we have to go. <clears throat> <clears throat> I will approach the counter after their business is finished mm -hmm. with the the rings. Um, hello. Uh, I am looking for a couple more specific things. Okay. Um, uh, we, I can, I would try my best to assist you. Okay. Um, I describe what I'm looking for. Okay. As the pictures that I sent you. Mm -hmm. Or the, the picture that I sent you. Um, mm -hmm. I would like two sets, um, uh, of each, uh, <laughs> silver of the metal, if possible. Mm -hmm. um, one with a blue stone and one with a green stone. Two sets. Two sets. Two sets. One with blue, one with green. Two sets of those. Um, let me see. And silver as the metal, I, you said? If possible. If possible. Let's see. Um, White gold would also suffice, I think. White gold. A uh, particular stone or color is more important yes color is more important got you um let's see we have adventuring oh okay um they're they're not silver they are white gold so they're a little more on the pricey side uh we have one uh in sapphire we also have one in emerald and yeah and then we do have two sets so that will run you this is a ship these have been in the store for a while so i'm looking to sell these you know rather quickly um uh, for two sets 75 gold done okay Right. What is it? Seven mm -hmm. platinum pieces and five gold pieces? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, thank you. Uh, is there somewhere around here that you would recommend for cloaks? Cloaks? Hmm. He, he strokes his mm. white fluffy beard. You, uh, magical or non-magical? Just, um, hmm... Do they make cloaks that allow you to be harder to find? Or, mm. like, magically harder to find? Like, mm. no scrying or things like that. No scrying or anything. They could probably transfer, um, I mean, you can enchant an item probably with non-detection. Um... Usually that's used for necklaces and rings, but that, that probably wouldn't be out of the ordinary for somebody who already has, like, a ring slot fill to request a cloak instead. Mm -hmm. um, this is me talking, not the, the, mm -hmm. the dwarf doesn't mm -hmm. have any idea. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is it is possible. Uh, also, they could do, like, a custom order, if need be. Mm. Well... Um, but if I'll head to the magical items store first, and then to whatever clothing place he okay. recommends. Okay, uh, he does recommend the striped cloak. Of course there's a store just for cloaks. <laughs> People really like their cloaks, they have to match. Striped cloak. Hopefully they're not all striped cloaks. Um... Does anybody have to do anything else before I do more shopping? 
I didn't intend to do this. <laughs> it just, no, you're fine. I'm, I'm just, I'm here to browse with you window shopping. Okay. And if I see anything that catches my fancy and fits my all white aesthetic, I might. <laughs> uh, is Rain doing any shopping? Oh uh, yeah, I was going to uh, do some. Yeah, we can we can switch to you for a little while and then come back to me, who's doing all the shopping now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just looking for three things. Um, I'm going to go around to some of the old friends where I used to procure items for my previous job and look for a rope of climbing, uh, the iron bands of binding, and a chime of opening. Because, you know, just in case you can't open anything. Okay. Um, there is... Roll... Just roll me a quick history check. Because I have a few stores that would... Uh, that would suffice. But I want to see which one... It's very, nice. It's, um, it's, it's if I roll, whenever I roll a critical one, I'm re-rolling that okay. shit. First look at a lot better, but at least it's not. <laughs> <laughs> at least not a one. Um, your memory is really shitty. <laughs> you really today. Shitty. Rain's too distracted. distracted. Yeah, Rain's way too distracted. You used to know a bunch of places, but there is one place in particular you know would quickly pawn up unusual items. Uh, it's called the Corrupted Artifact. Uh, masquerading as a pawn shop, they do deal in stolen goods. Often. Commonly. Yeah, I'm just gonna head on over there. Okay. You know, um, bold, which is fairly standard dress. <laughs> Okay, um, you, you waltz up to the Corrupted Artifact, uh, there is a, appears to be a very old woman with, um, a very hawkish nose and beady little eyes that is at the counter, um, looking at a variety of knickknacks and, you know, price tagging, tagging them for right now. Um, can I help you, young one? Oh, I'm just looking for a, a, a few little trinkets. Uh, perhaps, um, help me. Um, uh, I could. Uh, what kind of trinkets are you looking for in particular? You know, uh, work a little construction, a little, uh, you know, working on various buildings sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to get somewhere a little hard to get to. Um, you know, maybe a rope of climbing. You know, sometimes employees, they forget their keys. They don't hand them over. Charm of opening would be really useful. And, um, you know, some of them, people get the wrong idea. I once saw someone use the uh, iron bands of the binding on someone. It was turned out to be quite useful. She She smiles. I was like... Ah, oh, those items are rather useful. Um, we do have a, a rope of uh, that description. Um, somebody came in the other day. That would run you... Well, been used, so... Uh, I'd, I'd let it go at 1,800 gold pieces. Uh. Uh, used, you said? Used. Slightly, uh, slightly used. And we know the command word? We do mm -hmm. know the command word for it. Well, uh, you know... Thank you, Doodle. I don't know if I want... <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a power word. <laughs> Yankee Doodle uh, in Elvish. Skinky Doody. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> And, uh, I might be trusting my life to this. Uh, if I do that, it's going to have to be for a little bit cheaper price than that. All right. Uh, All right. Roll uh, Persuasion. I might be trusting my life to this, so... <laughs> Can it be cheaper? Damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm already... Right until I come back next level. <laughs> my expertise. I'm already... You know... 
th this item could, you know, it's very useful for uh, people of marketable skills. So I expect this to, f you know, fly off the shelf. I just got it recently, so I, I'm afraid, my dear, that I can't go oh, anymore. Oh, fine, fine. Well, okay, we'll agree on the price there, but, um... I like to acquire unusual items, it seems. Mm -hmm. I happened to, in my last job, happened to clear out a nest of these very, very venomous uh, scorpions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, curious, I collected some of the, uh, the venom. I thought that might be something you might be interested in. Mm, what variety of scorpion are we talking about? They're nasty little buggers. Night. Night scorpions, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, hmm. You know, if we were, if we were in Robur, I would say that you know there. I heard there was an abundance there lately, but since it hasn't really made their way over yet, still waiting must for have, that ship. Must have come over on an airship. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's coming. The 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 shipment's coming. Uh, by slow ship, regular ship. So, how much? Uh, how much venom you got? <laughs> oh, well, let's um see if we got any other items, and we can subtract what I have from the total if it's um agreeable, if it makes sense. Uh, fair enough. Uh, so you said you were looking for a chime of opening, right? Indeed. Um. Hmm. You know, I don't have one, but I do know who might, and you could probably... Is this someone, will they be willing to part with it, or is this a retrieval? <laughs> no, no, I'm, 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 I, I send him business from time to time. Uh, the, the... The Dark Flame might have a, probably has the chime. Um, I heard through the grapevine that uh, the owner got it fairly recently. Um, there was there was a big job done in town late done um, as of late, so they are trying to pawn off a lot of things. So Dark Flame might have the chime. Unfortunately, I don't. I know I do not have any Iron Bands of Binding. Uh, well, there's uh, it's worth something at least. Um, yes, there were some right. gentlemen a few weeks ago who were asking for items such as binding type. I unfortunately did not have hmm. or know anybody to point them to. Oh, well, yeah, I'm always interested in jobs. Is there anything that they might have been interested in? I might be able to steal from under them. I'm just kind of fishing for information, you know. <laughs> Um, I mean, they were, they were looking to do a job in, they were looking to steal a few things from the, uh, from the government <clears throat> district. Other than that, I'm not, I'm not sure who they are, didn't specify, it's not like they gave <laughs> the me their business card or anything. Yeah, the government doesn't like it when you get in on their business, mm. they're not gonna, enjoy... <laughs> they prefer to be the ones doing the stealing. Yes. But yes, the um, 1800 gold for the Rope of Climbing still stands. Oh, yes, I just happen to have... Uh, let's see, I think. Five Night Scorpion Venoms left. Mm. Mm. And we said when you sold the other half of that, that was six grand uh, mm -hmm. over and in, I believe. Um, okay, well... I will, uh, loaded. <laughs> I will not show more than what the uh, item is worth. I'm not gonna be like, hey, here's six of them! <laughs> yeah, um, I'm refined, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll trade, I will gladly trade 1,800 goat pieces worth of venom for the rope of climbing. I can definitely talk to, um... I'm sure someone will do some research or medicinal purposes. Mm -hmm. No, uh... 
wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, Vera, Vera at the bathing go bathing gorgon would be really interested in this. So yeah, and you know, I'm I'm looking. I why is there a hangman? Um, I have tea with her next week, so I'll definitely. I'm just looking for something to keep me occupied, guys. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to uh, start guessing. So a vial of this and maybe 500 gold pieces. Call it even? Yeah, we'll call it even. And she hands you the rope of climbing, um, which she tells you that the word for that is... Where is... Uh... Ah, damn it. Uh... At the command word <laughs> no uh the command word is <clears throat> all right um Okay, and you, she gives you 500 uh, to make up the difference, so you now have a rope of climbing. Excellent, and I'll head over to the dark flame and see about that chime of opening. Okay. And if um, we want to switch over to someone, we can do that too, whatever. Okay. I mean, the chime of opening is in, in the same area, and you you can wander in. There are two, or two people working the counter, uh, a man and a woman in dark clothing um when you mention the chime of opening they say that they do have it indeed and it is gonna cost you 1500 gold pieces 1500 and it's got all 10 uh, uses left 10 uses um i think that's what standard comes with so mm -hmm. wow Uh, <clears throat> all right then. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, the previous owner, he's, n he's not going to get any trouble from them, will he? Uh, as I understand, this item was inherited. Uh, apparently the young lad who sold us this item was apparently in... Quite a bit of debt. So I'm a woman, huh? <laughs> um, well, he didn't say. Well, um, uh, would you be interested in a trade? And I'll offer the same night scorpion bin to help, help offset the cost, since I'm probably not going to have a chance to refine it myself anytime soon. <laughs> They'll take the venom in exchange for the chime. Okay, the chime was fifteen hundred. So I'll give them uh, again. Give them a vial, and I'll give them, offer them uh, two hundred gold. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, so I'm down to three, and off another hundred, two hundred gold. All right, and that will be my shopping for the, for this trip. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what it is yet. Um, Alright, magic item shop time, I guess. Okay, magic item spears and orbs. Uh, there is a uh, very handsome gentleman uh, with long golden hair uh, who is behind the counter. Looks like he's also pri he is price tagging merchandise currently. Mm -hmm. um, hello, um, I am Antoine. How may I help you? Welcome to Spears and Orbs. Uh, pleasure to meet you. I hand out my like I I, I uh, extend my hand for like a delicate uh, shake of his. Mm -hmm. 
um, give him like a slight nod of my head. Uh, okay. My name is Atari. Yeah, I, I stand just behind her and angle myself just right so the sunlight catches my high and elegant cheekbones. <laughs> Uh, Good afternoon, sir. No, welcome, Spears Orbs. Um, so, what are you? Uh, are, what are you interested in today, ma'am and sir? Uh, ma'am, I am the one shopping. Thank you very much. I I apologize. Uh, I I shouldn't have yeah. assumed. Hey, you should not have. You know. <laughs> If it wasn't for my friend's recommendation to come here, I might have just left just now. But I will keep my business here, I suppose. <clears throat> I'm looking for a few things. Okay. Um, okay. Specifically, um, spell scrolls. Would you, might you have any divination magic spell scrolls? Hmm. Let's see. Um, and it's Antoine says whatever is on his list, mm -hmm. I will relay it in my mind. Obviously, over the brooch to Tilda. Uh, divination. Fourth level. Uh, um, level four. Uh, we... Do you have one in stock, uh, currently priced at 320 gold pieces? Uh, what was the spell? What's the spell? <laughs> Divination. Oh. Oh. Okay. Like, I actually just meant. I thought, yeah, I thought. Regular, I thought like, <laughs> the school of the school magic, of but. Divination. I'll take it, I guess, maybe. <clears throat> I meant more so spells of the school of magic of divination. Oh, not necessarily I just see. the spell itself. I, I I apologize, I misunderstood. Uh it's let's, quite all right. Let, let's let, it let happens. let's see. Um going through the inventory list. Okay. Um any particular level uh, you are looking for? <clears throat> Not above fifth. Not above fifth, I see. Okay. Um, we have... We have Arcane Eye. We have one Arcane Eye at the same price as 300 gold. 320 it's an gold. Excellent, it's an excellent spell as well. Um, that's at 320. Uh, we also have B sense. Um, if you if you want that, and B sense divination. Uh, do you perhaps have contact other plane. Contact other plane. We. Hmm. <laughs> Nice. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Uh, contact other plane. Unfortunately, computer. we do not have contact other plane. That's my text stock. sound. I just got. That's my uh, when I get texted. Nice. Uh, but we do have, hmm, we have detect magic, uh, detect poison and disease, detect thoughts. Uh, and we also have fine traps. Um, Hunter's Mark, and hmm, uh, locate creature. And um... all right, darling. Just see what else they have. So <laughs> I like that contact other plane might drive you insane to use it. It's a fantastic <laughs> spell. That's amazing. <laughs> and I, I have greater restoration, so it's totally safe. 
Um, none of the other spells were interesting for Tilda or uh, Kai. We also have a uh, scene invisibility. The, uh, the eye cage. I don't need Arcanai. What was that? Yeah. Scene yeah. invisibility. It, with detect thoughts, I can detect when someone's. Do you, do, you, I, do you want to summon a devil? Not particularly. Let's <laughs> say infernal calling is something you could maybe get. Um, is there anything else that Tilda would want? I mean, I mean you're a wizard, so it's like very broad. Exactly. Like a, That's like kind of telekinesis yeah. with something like like a. Do you want utility or do you want more like combat? -y? I mean, this was more about um, it, if Tilda had been allowed to go out and about type of thing. Um, it would be kind of like browsing, see what's interesting there. Basically, anything that's not in my. So wait, you guys can cast five. Book. Can you guys cast fifth level spells now? Is that? Mm -hmm. I can, yeah. Uh, I so can. you guys could I cast. Can as well. You could cast Geese. Gaius. Gaius. Oh. I'm, I'm terrible at pronouncing. Come on! <laughs> you heard. You got, you, you got Just a whole right. bunch of geese show up. <laughs> uh, creation <laughs> is an excellent one. So it's a dream. Um, I don't want too many 5th level spells just because um, yeah. oh, I don't yeah. have one spell slot. Let's see. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, that does... Hands. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. Um, could I make like an Arcana check? Like, does he have a list of scrolls that he has that I could like just browse through and see if there's anything interesting? Sure. Like, if I make an Arcana check. Uh, sure. He'll just show you what they have. Um, okay. List inventory wise. Um. While she's scanning that, I just want to kind of look around the room to see if there's anything that might be. A divine inclined magic wise. Okay. Um, I mean, Zadari, besides the spells I mentioned, you take a quick scan of the list. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a variety of spells. There's Create Undead, there is Disintegrate, there is Dominate Person, there is Elemental Weapon, there is Fear. Uh, a lot of fireball squirrels, of course. Of course. Of course. Uh, as well as fly squirrels. Um, they have two of those. It looks like in stock. Uh, fly might be good. Where is that? Is that? Th That's a third level. Okay. Third level. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll keep my eye I on mean, the fly. Okay. I was about to say, like I have a broom, so yeah, true. But you can cast it on other people. On somebody else. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, Mel would Mel would be down to fly into battle, <laughs> literally. Take my potion of growth and then fly me in, and I can just be like, "Whoa!" <clears throat> um, plenty of hunt, uh, pl plenty of hold person, of course. Don't need that. Um, there is lightning arrow, as well as lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Okay, grab that. <laughs> Uh, lightning bolt, and... I'll also grab the fly scroll, just... Okay, you know. fly, lightning bolt. Uh, there is also... Non-detection. Get that one. Okay. Uh, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's good. Remember, non-detection does take, I think it's either 25 or 50... Gold pieces worth of diamond dust. Mm. I think we didn't we like get a shit ton of that. I I need it for like four different spells. Mm. Yeah, but um, and I have it my... allotted and shit. Because I have a focus, um, an arcane focus. It doesn't really the the does that stuff. So the arcane focus takes a, is good for anything that's just like an owl feather. But if it's like 50 gold pieces worth of something that the spell consumes, you need to have the 50 gold pieces of whatever it is on your person. Okay. And with non-detection, you're like, you sprinkle the diamond dust on someone. 
and then it that is what shields them. Mm. So it's like actually like on your person for the spell. Pixie dust. Mm-hmm. Basically. <laughs> um scorching ray. Eh. Uh rope trick. No. Um Yeah, we have a rope of climbing now. <laughs> rope of climbing and we already had the uh, endless rope too. True. Um, rope of climbing is nice though, because then you don't have to make any checks. <laughs> they have one scroll of teleport, and they oh, have. Oh, that'd be so nice just to have. Yeah. But that's yeah, you might want to grab that one. It's high up there. Ooh, it'll be a yeah, seventh thing. level. Yeah, it'll be. Very I'll write it down. Expensive. Um, and there is. You guys can't even cast that full spells yet. It'd have to be a roll off, huh? Yeah, it'd yeah. have to be a single use, too. And but water we breathing. Could keep it and, like. You know. Um... Just wait until you can. Exactly. Cast it. Water breathing? Water breathing. Water. Yeah, I was just asking for Tilda. Um. Might come in handy. All right, I'll write that down too. It's only third level. Mhm. Mm and that's about it. Um, our higher level spells, uh, unfortunately, have been bought out, and we are currently waiting for the Thundrum to create more. Okay. Um. The two definite are non-detection and lightning bolts. Okay. Um. um Right. Fly and water breathing, also, I am interested in. Okay, fly, um, water breathing, lightning bolts, and non detection. I see. Yes. Um, how, just out of curiosity, how much is that teleport scroll? The teleport scroll. Um, we, I can use that too. Yeah, we it's fucking expensive. <laughs> yeah, we recently received that. So, teleport. Uh, level seven. Uh, we'll run you 2,560 gold pieces. That's not as bad as I was expecting, but no. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. Not right now. Yeah. We're not in considering you're money. buying more. <laughs> yeah. That's about over 8,000 gold. Um, uh, I know, I have a lot of money, but I, I just... I like uh, to does, this, does this fine establishment offer any discounts... Sir, I start pulling out my various library cards. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like it, it's like you're the Resident Evil Four merchant, but when you open your cloak, it's just library cards. There's a lot of library cards. I put down my Compendium of Knowledge badge and like my little thing for the Church of Ioun, and then the Treasure Hunter symbol. Um, Treasure Hunters get a two percent discount here. Um. The since you are part of the Ionites, that uh, that's a four percent discount. Let's see, two percent. Do I know the clerk? Would I? Mm, if Zaitari tells you the name of clerk, it doesn't ring I a bell. Have. Yeah, okay. it doesn't ring a bell. Damn it. Uh, four percent for Ionites, and. What a uh, library companion? Um, unfortunately, we do not cater, so that you get a six percent discount. Okay, uh, I want to try what I saw um, attempted earlier with the wink and like a little bit of a hair flip. <laughs> like, and how about just for a good day? Okay, pro persuasion check. Wait, was that an offer? I don't know. That was definitely a proposition. <laughs> If it's a natural one, it was definitely a proposition. And I pressed the button. I think it's working on it. Yep, there hey, it goes. Hey, nice. 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 Plus zero to persuasion. Nice. nice. Natural so 17. Lucky. He... Well... We uh, are buying quite a lot. You are buying quite a lot. So And there is something else I want to purchase. And the this. lighting in this... Establishment is fantastic, and I angle again. Yes. Um, he's like, I, I can, I, hmm. Uh, well, if you're buying in bulk, I could also give you a discount for that as well. Yes, we're, we're buying in bulk. We're also going to be looking for a few more items. Okay. On top of these scrolls. All so. Right. so, flying, non-detection, lightning bolt, 
and fly. Um, each of those scrolls are they, those are level three. Each spell is level three, I believe. Um, each scr level three scroll will cost you two hundred gold pieces each. Fly. Yep. Yep. Lightning bolt. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Those are all. Um, and what did you say they cost each? Two hundred each. Two hundred each. Okay. And that's before it discounts. That's the for yes. That's correct. Um, what else? Were I'm you also looking, looking for? Uh, an amulet of non-detection. Amulet of non-detection. Those are quite popular, so we probably do have some in stock. Let me take a look. And I'm personally looking for anything that could help with my divine magics, um, like a plus one holy symbol or something like that. Um. Let's see. Like an extreme team Bible. Yes. Nice. <laughs> it's, a, it's a double sided library card. We do have we do have an amulet of proof a uh, proof against detection and location. That's the same thing. Yes. Yeah. Um that, it's just the it's just the mouthful version. <laughs> uh that will cost you two thousand gold pieces. I will tell that price to Tilda. Um that's before the discount. Yeah, Tilda accepts. Um, since she doesn't know the clerk, she's just like, "That's fine. I'll pay you back when you get here." Okay. Um, you can return non-detection if you get yeah. this. Okay. Um, I won't if since you have the amulet of non-detection, I won't be needing the non-detection scroll. Okay. So um, that'll be fly, lightning bolt, water breathing, okay. uh, and the amulet of non detection. I do air quotes when I say non detection. All right. So, <laughs> so far you're at 2,600 gold pieces before the discount. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, sir, what, what were you looking for? Uh, just something to help with my, my religious practices. And you know, like a my divine powers. Yeah. Like a plus one holy symbol or something. <laughs> yeah, no, or prayer beads or. Ah, I see. Okay. Um. Well, we often do get requests for prayer beads. Uh, we have. Oh, we ha we have a variety. Uh, prayer beads. Uh, smiting. Uh, prayer beads, bless, and prayer beads, curing. Uh, that one is a little more on the pricier side. Because it, they are a little more popular. Um, not, uh, not quite the the oomph that I was hoping. So I'll, I will pass on those prayer beads. Okay. Um. And hmm, unfortunately, the we are. I was. We are going to get in prayer beads summons next week, but that is very pricey. And that's I'm I'm not much of a summoner. I'm more of a, a researcher. Okay. I do I deal more with like the whole clairvoyance divination sort of thing. Mm, I see, I see, I see. Um hmm. We do have do we still have that in Doc. He looks as list. Um. Well, we 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 recently sold our candle of uh, invocation, fortunately. Um. And for I can't. I don't think we have anything. I'm I'm terribly sorry, sir. I don't think we have anything that you you would be interested in. Along those lines. Uh, that's okay. That's I've come to expect that. Uh, will, will there be anything else? I don't believe so. Alright. So, let's see. 2,600 gold pieces. Applying the 6% discount. We'll, well, I'll, I'll give you an extra 2% discount. So, raising that to an 8% discount um da, da, da. So, two, three, two, three, two, times 
So, <laughs> minus two oh eight is <sighs> um, and I can round that off. Um, that would be two thousand three hundred ninety goats pieces. Very good. I will take it. Okay. Um, for the purposes of this, I'm going to pay him. Okay. Uh, Tilda, I imagine you will pay me back. So. Are you expecting the entire? <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, I'm two thousand three hundred ninety, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So, I think it'd just be easier. You mark it off. Yeah, I will. Just, just a you know, record keeping. Um, Damn. All right, I believe that is all that we need. Um, I will turn towards the others who are with me. Uh, I just need to make a quick stop at the uh, Striped Cloaks store. Um, you're more than welcome to accompany me if you wish. Uh, it shouldn't be long. Sure. Okay. Um, uh, roll perception check for me. Okay. I just want to say I now have a grand total of 49 gold. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, that near that pretty much wiped out my own. Do you want me to? Do you want me to pay for some of it? Oh no, no, it's fine. I can. Okay. I also have platinum. I have sixty platinum pieces. Oh, so okay, okay. I lied a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, the, you 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 do not see anything that resembles that. Okay. Oh, uh, that was okay. That, I thought it was just general. Make a perception check. No, no, she was looking for some. He was you. I was scanning the room for a specific book. Yes. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Big right. surprise. <laughs> Shocker. Um, so you, Zaitari, you're heading to Stripe Cloak. Anybody going with her? I'll go. I think, yeah, I think they're both. Yeah, okay. I'm still tagging along. All right. Uh, the, you know, you walk, the Stripe Cloak is a, you know, lovely store, uh, coat, coat, Racks and racks and racks upon cloaks and cloaks and cloaks of all different shades, size, uh, sizes, patterns, um, material. And there is a very uh, cheerful halfling uh, woman uh, who introduces herself <coughs> as Gabriella and says, Welcome to the Striped Cloak. Can I help you, ma'am? Ma'am? Sir? Uh, yes. Uh, I am looking for a... A uh, specific kind of cloak. Mm -hmm. um, hang on a second. Not GM roll. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Ah! I'll describe that cloak. Okay. Um... Something that looks similar to that that I just sent you. Okay. Uh... Uh, are you particular to type of material? Because I do believe I have a, a nice, uh, it, it would probably be more suited for a, a colder, uh, colder weather, but I do have a really nice thick velvet one. Hmm. It is almost fall, so, you know, it'd be suited for that kind of weather. Suited for traveling? Yes. This is not a... This would not... With the, with the heavier material, it would not be something for a show. This would probably be more suited for travel, yes. I think that would probably be perfect, then. Okay. Um, let me go grab it. Um, she dashes off and goes into one of the many cubbies that line the store walls and grabs a step ladder and let's see just blue here we are um and she gives you the cloak that looks almost identical to that uh to that picture there is a little bit of um, al along the the edges, there is a is, is a very simple, um, very 
wavy pattern, but it's it doesn't take that much space, and it looks like it's just part of the double stitch that's on the cloak. This is perfect. Okay, um, this will I can I will let this go at. Pages and pages and pages. Um, I can let this go uh, for five gold pieces. I think that is fine. Okay. Thank you very much, my dear. She'll have to take a platinum and give me change. Oh yeah, yeah. She'll 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 give you change. Perfect. I will. Uh, can this be boxed? Yes. Um, yeah, is it a gift? Sort of. Uh, it doesn't need to be wrapped. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. She she goes and retrieves a a nice uh card, um, like card one of those cardboard boxes with the lids, and she you know folds it up very you know nicely and hands it to you. Here you go, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Nenry, Melanie, is there anything else that you need? I think I'm good. I'm also fine. I think we're ready to go back then. Okay. <laughs> and you guys head back to the Quivering Hills, and I'll be right back. I'm going to stuff my packages into the bag of holding. Man, I haven't won a game of tic-tac-toe in a really long time. <laughs> yeah, you trapped me. <laughs> I'm like, I know there's a way to, like, trap people, but I always forget how to do it. Oh, well. Honestly, that was mostly luck. I'll be... Oh, like, really? Just, yeah. I I was like, I'm, you know, I did the first circle, and I'm waiting, waiting, and I was like, wait a second, if I did that, <laughs> and I, they're gonna, you know, I didn't know who I was playing against. I thought I was playing against KK because of the red. Yeah, but... no. I just picked the red because it's easy to see. Yeah, that's the same reason I did it for uh, the hangman. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was like, wait a second. If I do that, then they're going to do, you know, there. And then I can do... Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I thought the only way to win was not to play, guys. No. <sighs> That's that's uh. loser talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back. Back Quivering Hills. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Am I missing something? No, we're just discussing We were discussing tic-tac-toe strategy. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um so you guys get back. Um by the way, this whole time um, I would have been, uh, Tilda would have been hanging out with her sister and her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, she should ever grow up friend hanging anymore? out with her sister at the brothel. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, this is... It's not awkward at all. No, not at all. <laughs> Actually, um, surprisingly, uh, Rosamund and Theo have been getting along quite well. Um, you know, making casual hmm. conversation. I trade you in for the younger model. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. If I could, I would kick you through the internet, <laughs> but... <laughs> that technology's coming out. Yeah. Um, or at least Tilda would, if that was, <laughs> um, it, it's, um, very happy making for, uh, Tilda to see them getting along. Um, especially considering the freaking you know, the feud that, like, she expected it to, to, to be a little bit more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, tense? 
stressful. Yeah, sure. Tense Shitty. or, <laughs> you know, awkward mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. For a little longer, but hey, this is cool. She's happy. Mm -hmm. For the most part. Okay, but yeah, the, everybody's at the Quivering Hills. Um, yeah. I'm trying to keep Rosamond, like, shielded from the brothelness <laughs> um, as best guys, I can. Guys, you gotta How old is Rosamond, <laughs> anyways? Um, hang on, I have this written down. Uh, you don't know your fake sister's <laughs> age? Off the top Come of my head? On. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I am disappointed in you. I know. <laughs> Um, do, 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 uh, 20. She's 20 years old. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gotta make sure you protect your 20 year old sister's delicate sensibilities. Like, look, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're sheltered nobles. Exactly. True. 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 Like, it's bad enough for Tilda, who is 24, to be here. <laughs> She's like, this is weird. Alright. But yeah. Will you return. Yep, you guys were done. <laughs> I'm just going to go up behind Tilda and uh, arrange her hair and put the swan combs in it for her. And oh, her man. The top of her head, a little kiss, and I say, those are for you. And then I waltz off to go prepare my spell ingredients and, like, portion them out. I watch as Nenreen does this, and I, like, frown, and I'm like, <sighs> ruining my moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know what um, I going to do. I'm gonna go count incense, so if you'll excuse me. This is... <laughs> um... Theo's just sitting there blinking. I'm not gonna lie, I'm considering casting, like, magic missile or something like that at the... Um, immediate, you know, at somebody touching my hair. Um... Magic missile means she loves you. It was then... <laughs> it does not. ...who understands and respects good hair. He, he travels at all times with, like, a scarf around his hair to keep it from, like, tangling and falling out of true, place. That's true, but it's more the surprise of it that, like, and, you know, excuse you, who said you could touch me? <laughs> and uh, you were getting the swan combs, not the beetle combs. I like, yeah. I figure that's more along Tilda's... Oh, yeah, kind of definitely. ...root, so. Um, excuse me, oh, oh, um... Rose Rosamond's like, uh, huh? Oh, okay. I I kind of glance at Theo and Rosamond. Does it at least look okay? And and Theo uh, says, there's... "You look fine." And Rain will kind of take a seat. Just oh, how's Forgive everyone? Forgive me no, if I don't up. take your word for it. Well, uh, who wouldn't know better than me? Ro Rosamond pats your hand. <laughs> it 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 looks lovely, dear sister. To be fair, Rain does know what he's doing with hair. That is true, but usually I only let um, trained servants or the unseen servant uh, do my hair. Well, consider it a new experience, I guess. Especially since... <clears throat> certain um, folks... That was a long time ago, and I'm not even there. I know. <laughs> the voice just comes in on all our. I know. <laughs> who shall remain nameless, and who are no longer traveling with us, but um. Calls your, your sister's hair got set on fire. It was hilarious. I was I'm not there. For I this. glare so hard at rain. Rosamond says that's terrible. Yes! Thank you! I know! <laughs> she, she had a bit of a rough evening and morning. It was! I'd had a very rough evening and morning, and then Bryn burns my hair! That's such a tragedy uh, for such lovely hair. Was that the morning I broke yes, into your room? You. <laughs> I think that was. Is there a reason you decided to sit here, darling? Yeah, it's just enjoying the company. It's here's a rather rude question, Rosamond. I'm just trying to get to know everyone. 
Theo says, maybe we should change the subject. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, Tilda, here are your purchases, as I hand over the amulet and um, the various scrolls. Oh, um, thank you. I'll give her the gold that I promised. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh, amulet of non-detection... Um, I will immediately take and um, put uh, and like uh, Rosamond, darling, move mm -hmm. your hair, please. Thank of you. And like clasp it uh, behind her neck and mm -hmm. stuff, you know. Um, this is an amulet of non-detection, meaning that. If somebody tries to find you again, um, somebody as in your former captors um, tries to find you again, they will not be able to. Does that also mean that you can't find her, though? Indeed it does. Oof. Double-edged. Mm-hmm. Um, Theodric and I also have... Uh, these um, but so you're safe from your former captors if they try to scry on you or something um, she nods and says thank you I, I give her a small uh, kiss on the forehead hmm. and Rosamond, I pull out from the bag of holding a lovely gift wrap box, hand it over to her. This is for you, um, since you'll be traveling. Oh, all right. Um, she, you know, lifts. She takes the box from you, and she lifts the lid off, and inside is a very lovely green cloak. And she says, "This is this is beautiful." Thank you. You're welcome. And she she gives you she gives you a small smile as she runs her hand over the top of the cloak, feeling the the uh, the fabric. That is quite a lovely color. I think it'll look. Tilda a wink. I think it'll look lovely on you. You didn't have to go through the trouble, but thank you very much. Uh, Both. Of you've them. had a. I'm sure you've had a hard. I. I don't know how long you've been trapped there, but however long it's been. So. It's too long. Too long. Yes. Um. I. I didn't ask, but where are we headed next? Am I going um, home? Or are we going somewhere else first? Uh, um, refresh my memory, DM. I know there were um, one hand wanted to make uh, one hand was making arrangements. Yeah, um, Dris Dracilia, uh you would meet up with her and hand Rosamond to her. Um, Where are we meeting? Uh, you, she, I, I didn't specify, but she said, she would have given you, uh, the name of an inn, which would be the, uh, the Quiet Hobbit, um, and it, and she gives you directions, it's in Allard territory, along, uh, along your route towards their estate. Okay. Um, there have been some arrangements made, um, for you to go into the custody, uh, Dracilia's custody, um, and she will take you out of the country. I see. I'm not sure if I'm satisfied with that. Perhaps we should ask, uh, Dracilia where and in... What, by what means, and or if there can be, I, 
I, I, I have missed you, and I, I know you're busy, and I'd like to spend maybe a little more time with you. Of course, darling. That's... You don't even have to ask. Um, we are... I was thinking, um, perhaps I kind of look around at everyone in the group, um, and I, I think only Zaitari and Rain know who I'm going to refer to. Um, I was thinking about, um, contacting Shelley, uh, Michelle, um, Nightwell. oh my god, Nightwell, thank you. Like nightshade, no. <laughs> um, Nightwell. Um, and having uh, Rosamond here, protected by um, a fellow woman of Arathis in um, Dighton. Um, Theo says that I that would actually be a very good idea. Um, she would be capable, and if I do remember, her husband was also a a, a, a warrior as well, so she probably mm -hmm. would be quite safe. What do you think, Rosamond? Would you prefer to go to Dighton with um, a friend of mine? Who... Um... Or would you prefer to go with Dracilia, who oh. is also, of course, a friend of mine and who you know, is very familiar. Well, did uh, Dracilia teach Rosamond as well? Yes, of course. Well, if I was hunting her down, I would definitely go after Dracilia as well. Look into that. Just saying. Hmm. If Dracilia perhaps has a means of transportation to get me out quietly, and then. I, I suppose if there's some way she can get me to, to Dighton, then maybe that would be the best way. And they wouldn't expect her going that way if she was thinking another place, I suppose. So, if you, if you, if you, if you trust her sister, uh, if you trust uh, this, uh, this Michelle, then, and if Theo knows her and she's far removed from any of this rebellion then I, I I could I could be I would be fine with going to Dighton. I, I hear it's it's lovely this time of year. Oh or um would you prefer to go to the other continent? I've never been Fort Granite. It's lovely. Um Ooh, I, I don't know. know if Alexandria would be very No, I was thinking in... Maggie. Oh okay, Ooh. yes maybe. Um, Maggie? Um, indeed. Um, Marguerite Etienne, who I... I the color immediately us, drains Who from helped both us, of. um, find you. Oh, I see. So she is far removed from her family? Very far. I see. Um, that makes me feel a little better. Um, yes. <laughs> how, how would I get there? That is... The problem. I mean, Dighton is, you know, but merely a almost well a country away. There is a tiny piece of the border that does touch, but hmm. and, uh, maybe we should talk to Dracelia when we see her. Um, if she does have a means, magical means of getting me out. Maybe that will open more options for us, especially for whatever you want. I haven't traveled much outside of uh, uh, Leonia and Gadarn, and this, so I, I'm not sure, honestly. Um, Theo Theo's looks like he's nodding. Um, yeah, maybe we should. Theo says maybe we should talk to her to see just just to get a scope of what all our options are, um, and then we can perhaps arrange transport with her if Tresilia doesn't know how to get her to 
Dighton or Robur. Drusilla is supposed to be meeting us here, right? Quiet um, Hobbit, uh, uh, towards, uh, the Allard estate. On our way to the Allard. Um... So, did you all have, um, a good time shopping, and were you productive? Well, I mean, I'd say. Got you all those scrolls. Got some potions. Melanie got yes. potions. I got potions. Nenrin got potions. Nenrin also bought a lot of incense <laughs> and other things. Nenrin didn't buy sure. any potions. He just bought a lot of incense and a mirror. <laughs> just a fuck ton of incense. Well, then, um, what time is it? Um, it's probably late afternoon, almost early evening at this point. There was a lot of shopping done. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, would anyone care to order some dinner? Oh, did we get the fire grenade ingredients oh, as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just think, yeah, you probably went to a bunch of um, wholesale shops that carry that kind of thing and got those things. You can, if if you really yeah, want to, you can do twice the amount, which was forty gold, for all those materials times two. Yeah, and I'll just, I'll keep everything in their separate containers for right now. I'm not going to make an effort to make any of them. Okay. I've got to make the incense usable, so I'm going to go deal with that, like trimming it and bundling it and all that garbage. Okay. Um... Yeah, if you guys want dinner, yeah, you could have somebody, you know, you can request a kitchen to make something or you can have a runner probably go grab food from a preferred eatery of some sort we all started from the same place guys don't need seven different deliver <laughs> <laughs> well while they are getting food i am gonna go ahead and cast legend lore and you don't have to give me the information right now because it's gonna be a lot of information okay but i'm gonna Cast legend on the sailor's graveyard in southern lanks, okay. where I know the magical item cache to be. All right, and I will give you that information probably sometime this weekend. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I just I know it's gonna be like a proper write up, so oh, I'm not expecting it. Okay. Um. Yeah, you guys can uh, order food, um, tuck in for tonight, and probably head out in the morning. Um, at some point, I would have wanted to um, talk to Rosamond kind of alone. Like, maybe we send Theo out with the hat of disguise. Oh, he's, yeah, he, 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 un he understands. Um, and he's, you know, he, he even volunteers. Uh, to go with a disguised Ixen to go pick up food. Um, which Iskin? Iskin Jr. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forget. <laughs> um, alright. Um, I just wanted to, uh... Um, so I'll pull her aside and say, You don't have to say anything now, or... Um... Ever, really. I just want you to know that if you ever want to talk about um, your experiences in the dungeon of the Etienne Fortress, um, or your kidnapping, um, I am here to listen. Um, 
But you don't have to, as I said. It's just, um, I kind of, like, reach out and, you know, cup her cheek and kind of run my thumb around the, uh, like, the edge of the black eye that she has. Mm Mm-hmm. It, 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 not now, maybe later, maybe later on, but thank you. In whatever time you need, um, just know that, um, whoever did this to you, that they will be taken care of. Thank you. Whether one hand wants me to or not. Mm. Now, um, if we stay away from the rest of the group too long, we'll <laughs> attract attention and... <laughs> of, of, of course, no. I understand. Um, what are you guys whispering about over there? <laughs> See? Is she always like that? Yes. Sometimes I'm worse. She said it, not me. Just, I would like it known that I kept my manners here, in this instance. She's she's quite brazen about it. Hmm, brazen about certain things. Mm. Less brazen about others. Mm. I see. Um, alright. Anybody else doing anything? I I will say like right before you know, just make sure she um her flirting stays just flirting. Oh come on, dear! <laughs> <Now she's> got... <laughs> her sister saying no is like the worst thing she could have said. We all uh, know that, right? <laughs> Rosamund just blinks. I oh, she will try. Trust me. <laughs> She she looks a little like wide eyed. Um, oh my um, god! She now she's thinking about it. <laughs> That's okay. the worst thing you could have said. I I I, I mean it's I, completely up to you, I, you I don't, and you, your choice I, and I, I, all I that. Don't, I I don't. <laughs> but I don't trust me on this. My husband's just like. Take I... me back. Take me back to the cell. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh I... god, this is so embarrassing. That, that didn't even cross... Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. It didn't cross your mind? No. Great. And now, and now it's all now she it did. about. She, now it she did. She just blinks owlishly. Like, I don't know. What? <laughs> like, completely blindsided. Okay. Um... When's that food supposed to get here? <laughs> she um, just gets just scoots away. Okay, from her you gotta, hand. you you have to allow me a general flirting roll now. <laughs> I'm required. At so no, like during the night. By the way, do we know where the um the old man is? <clears throat> He's upstairs recovering. This long imprisonment. Don't you think he could use some company? No. Never needed it before. <laughs> better, 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 better. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out a deck of cards, cards, anyone? <laughs> uh. About half an hour later, uh, Iskin and Theo um, return with food. Uh, they found the a very nice equivalent of Italian in the area, not in the area, but in the in the in the merchant district. Um, simple fare, minestrone soup, pasta. Um, As a noodles rustic. Sure. <laughs> it's not authentic sure. if they aren't rustic. <laughs> um, actually, some at uh, some time after the meal, um, 
Theo actually seeks out Rain um, and asks to speak with her privately. Rain looks a little confused for a moment, but... Tilda looks a little confused, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, she will acquiesce and follow the out to... Yeah, he'll, he'll take you to, like, near the kitchen area, off to, like, the, a side room, and he says, Um... If... You, you, there, 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 there seems to be a little tension I notice between you and Trevere, and he motions to upstairs. And I, I don't know if you know, but their um, their domain is under my father's rule. Um, they have a reputation for being assholes. They, they, they do. Um, if you need any information I can provide about their family, um, I, I will do you know, my best to um, give you that information. And if, you know, I, I know that you and my beloved don't get along, but I, I've also know, I also know that you've helped her and the rest of the group um, during your travels, and I'm I'm very grateful for that. So if, if there is anything I can do to, in, in this instance, please do not hesitate to ask. I'll keep that in mind. And, I mean, um, any man puts up with her has to be pretty brave, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't put up with her. She is she is a you don't know what I mean, of course. <laughs> um, also, um, I do not. I and he 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 seems to be looking for the words, and he he looks like he's he's getting a, a little bit angry. Um, this this trip, being being with all of you, has opened my eyes about how how nobility has treated the common folk and I when I, I do not care for Baldwin especially now and if he does not meet justice during this rebellion I, I promise you that if he will meet justice. I, I, he's struggling to, to find the words because it's, it seems to like a little awkward between, you know, you taking you aside. What I'm, what I'm saying is that no matter what happens, I will make sure that he no longer has the power that he currently has. I do not approve of what he has done. I do not approve of what anybody under my father's jurisdiction has done. And I will do everything within my power to make sure this, this corruption does not linger. Well, something at least more than some have given. I don't know, you'll be able to fulfill your bright words, but I appreciate the trying. Well, that's, that's all you I can You might actually find. be a halfway decent guy. <laughs> you don't have a sister, do you? <laughs> Walks out. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Blanks. Yeah. He's an only child. Blanks. <laughs> I'm, he, he, he says, I'm going to okay um he he, he just goes back outside <laughs> back out it would be cousin. so so amazing <laughs> if he had some kind of family that rain got involved with oh, oh Toto. <laughs> Toto would just like die and it would be so worth it <laughs> he, 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 thanks he, <laughs> he, 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 he finds you tilda blinks 
your your com your your comrade has a odd sense of humor. I do not understand. <laughs> Don't even try, darling. I... It, it's really not worth it. Mm -hmm. Um. Anybody else doing anything for tonight? <laughs> did you have a productive chat with her? I I I did. I I merely told her that Tre uh, Trevier will meet justice in so many words. I would like to do an insight check. Sure. <laughs> Just because I know he's talked to people in the group behind my back about other things, you know, like the engagement ring, and God, when the hell is he going to do that? So... <laughs> uh, he, he seems... He, he seems like he's... That, that's true. Okay. <clears throat> I, 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 not that I could have prevented such things. Um, when my father is hopefully eventually thrown out, it will be my responsibility uh, to rule the duchy. And I'm merely trying to right the wrongs that the nobos under my father's care have have committed. That's all. Wonderful. I would expect nothing less from you, to be honest. Although, perhaps, uh, I didn't always feel that way. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rosamond kind of giggles under her breath. <laughs> um, Mind your own business. <laughs> smiles. Um, seriously, you guys... Sorry. What? We're not cats? doing anything. Not, not, not you guys. <laughs> the cat. I have the cat. The cat. I have it's the cats. It's always the cats. I have two cats looking at me with empty bowls. If you would like to go feed them, yeah, I have. I, yeah, I'm gonna go feed them. <laughs> I want some more. <laughs> the wise wine. Just Please, goes sir. Really in the middle of the session. Yeah. Please, sir. May I have some more? You don't Otherwise, I might say I'm things starving. like, meow, <laughs> animal meow. who, animal who, animal who. <laughs> over and over. That was weird. That was weird, because... I, 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 yeah, I don't get the reference, so it was really strange. Um, earlier... Uh, oh, yeah, KK. when... Yeah, KK's yeah. chat... Like, like her computer is possessed or something. <laughs> animal who, animal who. <laughs> oh my god. I, mean, oh, I, was, so I wasn't typing anything about animals. I wasn't like on like cute animals of Reddit or anything. I was reading an article about Brian Hoyer and his time with the Browns. It's like, where is it coming from? <laughs> oh my god, it made me laugh so hard. And like I said, like, it's I, like... I don't... What? I, I, I was sitting down and like it, um, my hand like tapped the keyboard, you know, kind of like just kind of you fat fingered it, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it tapped like four keys. It couldn't have been that, you know. You must have like put in some secret code into Discord and it just mm. like we got like some kind of weird backdoor shit that came yeah. through your <laughs> account. What I love is when the cats, like when I'm playing a game and the cats walk across the keyboard really fast. And then they do something. The one time I didn't even know like that I could lay down. Like I didn't know you could lay down in this game. And I was like, well, I don't know how to stand up now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I <laughs> and it was ridiculous. They they do all kinds of weird shit to my my peoples. Okay. Uh... So Natari does one thing she wants to do. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> not even Tegan? Just one more thing. No, one more thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we I, I just want a general how charming am I check this evening. And like you said, I mean, she is. Throw a wide enough net, you'll get a few bites, right? Hey. I mean. <sighs> the Isabella method, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sleep with literally anybody. Anyways, uh, anybody doing? So nobody's doing anything else. T- uh, so I guess we'll fast forward to morning. So you're well, supposed to do something on the serious. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. What do you want to do? <laughs> um, at some point, when Tilda and Rosamond are like somehow alone, like Theo's talking, like Theo's talking to Rain, and then Rain is off in his room doing something else and Melanie I would imagine is being propositioned by another lovely male uh, escort mm. of of the uh, uh, what is it the quivering hills mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna sit down uh, across from the two of them so how was your evening so far um Lovely. Why? Okay. <laughs> this is this is not starting how I wanted it to. Um, this is might seem like a weird gif, but I hope it doesn't come off like that. Anyways, I'm I'm just gonna give these to you, and I reach into my bag of holding and pull out two small ring boxes and put one in each of their hands. Um, it's just. A little something for the two of you. Um, I'm going to start running out of fingers, darling. To, uh... Oh, it looks like a... It's it's the dark blue and the green one. Um, (laughs) You're... It's just a little something to remind each other that, you know, you're sisters and you always have each other. It's important to keep family in mind. You are very generous. <laughs> Indeed, I'm feeling for very someone ge- who is... I'm feeling very generous today. I don't know why. Particularly for someone who was upset at me yesterday. Thank you. <sighs> yes, thank you. And Zaitari just kind of stares off, thousand yard stare, thinking about the talking to we had with one hand. <sighs> Yes, I'm trying to forget about that. Best to just move on, not dwell on the past or anything like that. Are they magical? Nope. Nope, they're just mundane rings. Um, You can get them enchanted if you like, but (laughs) I was not spending that much money. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so I will slide mine on to one of my many fingers that has rings accompanying them. Jewelry. I know. I, I'm, like, dripping with bling at this point. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I wear, you know, my um, arcane focus around my neck. I wear a um, symbol of Arathis around my neck. I wear the amulet of detection. <laughs> <laughs> not detection around my neck. Oh, you're gonna have to switch those to be like bracelets or something. I have like so many rings from the ring of warming and <laughs> like it's just insane. Too much job. Anyways. I have many um hair thingies and a couple brooches. Like this is yeah, a you got, got a new hair comb today. I know. Too much. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh my Except god, the nails. not the nails, because oh, wow, the nails. Oh, that's the intense. Nails. Oh, oh, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, the... too much. Similar tone. Oh, bothers me on so many levels. Yeah, uh. it's like those are like those are like evil witch fingers. Do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. hag fingers. fingers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What'd you say? This is the first thing that popped up, guys. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> is that better? 
Oh. You Not could, really, but... That would do an extra, like, 2d6 damage if you punch somebody. I know, right? <laughs> the, rich, the rich monk, uh... Muck with us. Yeah. I'm gonna go... I gotta go tell Kelly when dinner's gonna be ready. I'll be right back. Okay. 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 <clears throat> That's all. I hope you... Just, uh, you know... A little something, I suppose. And... Thank you. Yes, thank you. Um. That's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. She, Rosamund leans towards you, Tilda, and says, She's not going to try to flirt with me as well, is she? <laughs> Do I hear this? <laughs> uh, she, she's, she's like, she's just whisper. She just little whispers to, to, to Tilda. <laughs> no, she's rather uh, occupied with. I, I mean, it's it could possible. Happen. It's possible, but she is rather occupied with another at the moment. Yeah, just, uh, the, the one with the glasses, I assume. Yes. I see. Um, just, just asking. Keegan has glasses? <laughs> yes. Yes, All right. Keegan has glasses. Um, I, just, just making sure. I, I was unsure. You, you have, you, you keep st strange company. <laughs> oh, don't I know it, darling. <laughs> Honestly. If I had the choice of <laughs> some of the company I keep. Well, they're all right, for sure. the most part. <sighs> Indeed. Anything else? So Tarzan very <laughs> generous tonight. She is. Th this is This is unusual. I mean, I'm not sure, to be honest. You know, uh, we've only known... I, you know, Rain is the one I've known the longest, and it's still only been a few months. So, perhaps she's... So, perhaps Saitari is always this generous? And just... Is sort of... Or, or perhaps this is a dormant generosity that <laughs> shows up every once in a while? Oh. I mean, you could ask Like a her. hobby that show you know. Hobby? Um, <laughs> right, it's, it's a hobby. Giving. That only happens, you know, once every year or so. I suppose. It's... Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> like we're, I think I feel like we're both just kind of like looking at Zaitari as she's like mingling with other people, and we're like, eh. <laughs> I mean, you could ask her if you want to, but that's totally we up could, to you. but I don't want to. And, and no, nope, that's fine. Yeah, and Rosamunda doesn't know you guys well enough to well like, enough. ask. Mm -hmm, she's mm -hmm. just. I'm not gonna question it at the moment. <laughs> it seems like Rosamund's, um constant state is confused <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's just like a who? Who? Strange Constantly. friends, strange behavior, yep. experiences. Yep. Yep. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, anybody else doing anything else? Okay. Um, so you guys retire for tonight. Uh, morning comes and you guys <laughs> pretty much that's pretty much her perpetual face right now it's like what who she gave me what that's nice Wait, she gave me this too okay um like why are you showering me with gifts <laughs> um and, uh, yeah. I, so the other one would be flirting with me <laughs> yeah i know right um, so in the morning, you guys, 
unless you guys want to do anything else, you guys, I, I assume you guys start heading out towards the Allard Estate. Yeah. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. We had our shopping mega trip. Yep, you guys pack mm. up the wagon. Uh, horses have been fed and watered. Uh, you head out of Valido on this strangely cold day. Um, the temperature it, it's teetering between uh, summer and fall, but the temperature has taken a strange dip. Today it's actually in the thirties. Um, a, a little brisk. Um, I mean, there there has been flash freezes before in this region, so it's nothing too uh, unusual. But just it, it's just taken like a twenty degree dip since you've been here. Um, uh, you guys head out of Valido and start heading towards the quiet Hobbit Inn where you are poised to meet Dracilia. Also, they mentioned that Axe and Serena will be at the Quiet Hobbit waiting for you guys, so you can, you all can head towards the Allard Estate as a group. Um, it takes about... about eight hours to get to the... Quiet Hobbit, and it's this quaint two-story, large, m more like a very large house surrounded by a lovely Macintosh apple orchard. Uh, the apples are starting to come to ripen, and there are a few halflings milling about. Um, Cleaning some of the leaves that have started to fall in, um, harvest harvesting summer the the end the end of summer vegetables and fruits and yeah you arrive the the hobbits um, stable your animals without question and um, yeah um, as you guys walk in the tavern portion of the quiet hobbit is quiet uh, you have arrived travel since morning so you have probably arrived around five o'clock six o'clock early late enough that it they are starting to prepare for the dinner rush um, When you when uh, inside the tavern proper is you do spot Dracilia Tilda o almost almost immediately she's the only high elf at the bar. Um, you do also spot uh, Serena Axe who are quietly talking amongst them themselves in a in a corner. Um, like I said, the dinner rush hasn't happened yet, so it's quite empty. They're preparing for dinner. Aptly named, this place is. Um, Drusilia! I kind of, like, wave. Um, she immediately, uh, her, her head pops, fr um, you know, raises from her drink and her, her, her meal. And she smiles wide as she uh, nearly, um, hops off her bar stool, um, rushes over to you and gives you a, a hug, kisses your forehead, and does the same to mm -hmm. to Rosamund. And, you know, she, she, she holds her hold for a moment. It's like, we were so worried about you. And, you know, Rosamund stays in the hug for a little bit before she, she, she releases her. And she says, what? And she notices the, uh, the, the shiner that's healing but still traces of it there it's like what what did they do to you uh, you're you're going to have to tell me what happened um i i didn't i one hand did not tell me the extent they she see she they found and she speaks very low they she said they found the kidnap the kidnapper and who it is she didn't have time to Sending, you can only say so many words, as you know. So I, I was only told to meet here and take Rosamund to safety. Yes. Um. About that. Um. 
Why don't we sit down? Uh, of course. Um, uh, what, what's uh, it, it's 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 nice to see you again, Rain. Um, and I do not recognize. Oh yes. Um, Zaitari, Nenrine, Melanie, Tegan. Um, is Theo wearing the hat of disguise? Um, Theo's not wearing the hat, but he he's disguised. Using a disguise kit. Um. And, uh, Frederick. Yes. <laughs> um, I say Frederick with a nods. wink. Uh, Drusilla nods. Ah, Frederick. Well, um, there is a large enough table. Uh, let's go there and order a meal. Um, and you can tell me all about... You can catch me up on... What's... Um, she says a little loudly, it's been so long, we should, we should catch up. Um, yes. I have so much to tell you, darling. Um, you guys go over to the, uh, larger table. Um. Everybody there, the evil eye, see if there's anyone that looks suspicious as we walk over. Oh, uh, pretty quiet. I mean, you do see Serena Axe there in the corner. Um, you recognize the... The large half orc woman with the porcelain mask, and you know it's hard to spot the ha uh, the ha the elven woman with the blindfold across her face, her, her eyes. Um, they they notice you, they wave, uh, but they, they they recognize that you know you you're catching up, so they you know they said they, they kind of like we'll be here, don't worry about us. Um, and Jacilia. You know, brings her food and drink over. Um, a waitress, uh, a halfling waitress with bright auburn hair comes rushing um, out of the kitchen and says, Ah, hello, 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 uh, welcome to the Quiet Hobbit. Um, can I can I take drink orders and, um, and will we be getting food as well? Um, oh, by the way, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Ashley, I'll be your server today. Just your finest ale, Ashley. Thank you. Okay. Um, no problem. Uh, what I... do you have that's interesting? Ah, we have today uh, on the menu. We have a uh, uh, a pheasant uh, roasted with uh, carrots, onions, potatoes, uh, served with a um, macintosh apple uh, sauce. Uh, we also have today, uh, you know, standard roast roast chicken with rosemary and sage. Uh, if if you're not looking for something so uh, heavy, we do have a, 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 a tomato soup uh, served with uh, uh, sourdough, and uh, for you know, for for salads, we have an arugula with a lemon poppy dressing. Well, that pheasant sounds very lovely, but I meant more for alcohol. Alcohol? Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, I do, I would love to place an order for the pheasant, but... Okay. Of, 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 of course, of course, of course. Um, uh, for drinks, uh, we have... We do have... Um, if I could, if this will... Oh, come here, just... Load my giant drink page. <laughs> um, Fantasy we, liquor. We do have a uh, treant tea. Uh, if you're looking for something non-alcoholic, uh, we have a uh, we have Roaring Eagle Ale uh, with uh, you know blood red, uh, various fine chopped cloves. Um, gro goblin grog for something a little stronger. Um, I I don't suggest it with a meal. It's more of a often used. Dish -based yes. Drink. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> um, we do have a a, a a hard cider, Kenku's Claw, and we also have you know a standard. Uh, reds and whites, but for a special wine, we do have wyvern wine. Um, it, it's it, it's it's more of a 
people enjoy it. It is a mild uh, hallucinogenic uh, beverage. <sighs> Give uh, me it. Yes, ordered. Okay. Um, all right. So I will have tea, tea. Uh, for myself and uh, him, and I point to Tegan. <laughs> Tegan, uh, just tea okay. for us. I, uh, I, I'll have a glass as well. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yes. Three wyvern wines. Um, uh, a miss and she, uh, Tegan, are you are you okay with the wyvern wine? I don't uh, want to assume. Uh, no, it's it's it, it, it sounds lovely. <laughs> <laughs> he is unsure, but he's willing to give it a shot. Um, literally, uh, Rain. Uh, she, uh, Ashley gestures to Rain. Is there? Um, we we have goat's milk. Uh, we have you know tea. We have. Uh, if you're looking for a more. I was uh, going to eat an ale, but uh, whatever the finest ale was. Okay, uh, dwarven draught. Um, it is. Uh, a, a very strong uh, of, uh, beer. So I'll get a drop, door and drop for you, um, the tea for you, and okay, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, any other food besides the fe- uh, the pheasant for the um, for the lady? She ge- gestures to Zaitari. <laughs> um, Tegan says, um, "Do you have a, a, a cheese plate?" And he's like, yeah, "Yeah, we do have a cheese plate. Um, I will bring cheese with fruit." Yeah, and Tegan's like, yes, that's fine. Cheese fruit crackers. Um, uh, all right. And I'm hungry. Cheese plate. Not enough, oh, right? <laughs> My lasagna's got like 10 more minutes in the oven, man. Uh, pheasant. Um, gotta let it sit. <laughs> yeah, you need to have like lava in your mouth. I mm. know. You're making her sad. <laughs> um, okay. I just took six psychic damage. <laughs> Yeah. I'll just uh, add one more for a fruit and cheese plate. Mm-hmm. Okay, no problem. All right. Um, so cheese plates, pheasant. Um, all right. I will put in those orders right away. Um, and your drinks will come. Out. I'll be right back with your drinks. And she scurries off. Um, okay. Uh, and you guys are sitting there as Cecilia is. She she had the pheasant earlier and cheese finished with her meal and is now drinking a glass of uh, Chardonnay. And she's like, so, what happened? Well, I I, I assume this is rather unpleasant. Let's start with the the, the basics then. Um, Who took her? Who took you, my dear? Um, um, looking at Rosamond, it, just, can I do, like, an insight check to see if she's, like, okay to talk about this, or... Oh, uh, yeah, you can do an insight should check. Should I jump in? Fuck. Um, she... She, she briefly looks a little unsure about herself, but... Then I'm, um, I'll just... Um... The Etienne family. At this, Dracelia's eyes widen. Yes. We were all rather surprised at their um, deception and treasonous activities. This is not good. This is... I did not know the, the, the influence of this treachery has even spread through our own. This is... This is terrible. Um, well, I, if we don't know who else is involved, who el- within the nobility, I, I believe taking her out of the country is 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 for the best. Um, I was unsure of it at first, but now this has solidified that. I mean, we have an idea of. Um who's involved and I'll pull out one hand's letter and let her right. she'll, she'll, she'll read it she'll briefly she'll skim it and she's like I assume since they have the letter that they don't exactly have hard enough evidence to present this to the queen as of yet or they would just hide said evidence if the word got out okay. no but I think somebody's working on that mm. 
Okay. Uh, I can't. I can't remember the person's name. Uh, it was a uh, like a spy. Oh. One hand mentioned. Uh, Thanic. Um, he is the real eyes, and right now they're in communication with each other. So right now they're yeah. working together. Okay. Good. Uh, there's a man named uh, Thanic, who uh, I think is a spy, who's uh, working on building a case. I think. I okay. Well, good, good. So at least somebody's working on this. Um, hmm. I was going to take you, Rosamund, to with me out of Leona to Vox. Actually, um, the the Thundrum Order has allowed me to take on. She puts in quotes a student for. A time being, I was able to tell them that she, Rosamund would be my my student until, well, all this blew over. Uh, unless you th you have a you you may have you know uh, an opinion on that or maybe some uh, a better suggestion. Well, it's really up to Rosamund where she wants to go. Um, but we had discussed. Sending her to stay with <clears throat> um, allies that I have vetted. Mm. Um, one of whom lives in Dighton, and the other in Robur. Robur would be quite a trip. I, if you, you know, it, I would not be too comfortable sending her too far and my reasoning being that as we would want to keep the trip as short as possible to limit the chance of interference. A repeat. Exactly. Um, mm. But Gadarn and Dighton are good choices. They are almost equidistant um, Vox and and, and and again the capital. So either 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 place would be fine. Um, of course, you would have to pretend to be a, a student at the in, while well, in the order, and I don't know if the rebellion has. I I can't possibly think there would be Thundra members, but. Uh, Rosamund, what do you think? And you see Rosamund's like very quietly um, uh, sipping the drink that has been placed in front of her. Um, well, if you're not 100% sure, Dracelia, that there may or may not be involvement with the Thundrum and whatever is happening with Leona, maybe, maybe Dighton would be a safer bet. And... Tilda did mention that uh, the the individuals I'd be staying with do know how to take care of themselves, and they're very far removed from what's happening. Um, the Nightwells are lovely, darling. You're going to love them. <laughs> if, if, if you say so, sister. Um, she... She sips her tea. She sips, sips, sips. She just sips her tea. And, um, Theo chimes in. I believe Michael should be with them currently still, since he was... Since Michelle was a little worried. They, they are... He's, he should be, yes. He's, he's a very honorable man. I, I highly doubt he'd be involved in something like this. Highly. Um, he has... I noticed he had a... Uh, a strong disdain for corruption among the nobility. Um, and this would not sit well with him. Um, Drusilia says, alright, then if we can get in contact with uh, your friend, uh, we can arrange transport for her. Leave that up to me, darling. 
Um, I will cast sending uh, to Michelle. Okay. And say, um, hang on, let me write this out. That's fine. Um, at this time, uh, at this point, uh, with your wyvern wine, um, I need. Zaitari, I'll roll for Tegan, and okay. I need you to make constitution saving throws. Ooh boy. <laughs> okay. It begins. Melanie, you're fine. Oh. Zaitari, okay. you're fine. Tegan is not fine. Oh. Um, of course not. <laughs> he starts getting distracted. Um, Poor you, Tegan. You, you notice that he starts, his eyes start darting like to and fro, and he 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 nudges you and he whispers, "You you don't you don't see that?" <laughs> I think that's the hallucinogenic effects of the wine kicking in. I assume there there were not fairy lights dancing across the bar then. <laughs> I mean, I could make fairy lights dance across the bar. I already see them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are they yeah. pretty? They are very pretty. Um, yeah, the, the, the wyvern wine is sweet and tangy, and there's there's a slight burning aftertaste uh, from the neurotoxin from the wyvern poison that comes in contact with the soft <laughs> tissue in your mouth. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. It's like eating blowfish. You get that tingy feeling in the mouth. Mm, yeah, yeah. I have unfortunately <laughs> not done that yet. People keep on telling me that that's what they taste. I have not had the pleasure, but I know a few people who have. <laughs> I did not feel like I don't feel like risking my life yet, even if the guy is certified. Yeah, yeah. There's a. I, I'm not. I'm not willing to take a chance to die for my food. I mean, other than just like the standard choking d issues, you know. Like, I guess I could die anytime I eat. There's more risk going in with eating blowfish. And suddenly yeah. everyone yeah. wasn't hungry anymore. <laughs> oh no, I'm still very hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm still hungry. <laughs> I'm not eating blowfish. So. <laughs> um, but he, uh, uh, yeah, when, when the uh, waitress comes back with the, uh, with the cheese plate and food, she, she, she looks at Tegan, oh, I see it's already taken effect. Um, don't, don't worry, the, the, it only lasts for two hours. Tegan blinks. I'm going to see this for two hours. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I just gave him a gentle rub on the back. It'll be fine. It's not unpleasant. It's, it's, it's nice. Jarring, slightly, but nice. <laughs> um... But yeah, um, so, well, Tegan is staring off into the distance, <laughs> looking at things that are not there. I mean, you guys can try another shot to see if you want to get that effect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we willingly fail? Yeah, sure. You can just willingly fail. Oh, Perfect. that's, that's, that's where I am. <laughs> yes, same. Um, and you see, it's slightly different from what Tegan is experiencing. I mean, there are, hmm. I mean, you Here see come the lights. Pink elephants. You see <laughs> lights. Uh, there are, you hear birds, lovely singing birds uh, in the background. Mm. It's it's not, it's not unpleasant. It's actually quite nice. Um, there is it's a, just like me. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. There's a slight numbness to your mouth because of the neurotoxin. <laughs> but it, it's not like your whole mouth is numb, like after you get your wisdom teeth pulled. It's just like a slight tingle uh, mm -hmm. in, near in the soft palates, in the cheeks. Hmm. It, it's just Kinda like, like me. You eat too much pineapple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
that uh, it's skin dissolving enzyme. <laughs> yeah. Just just me, Melanie, and Tegan are kind of just like off in our own little space. Mm hmm. Enjoying cheese plates and pheasant and giggling as we're seeing just random shit. I I am hoping that at some point you uh, just start making fairy lights dance around and we just all giggle uncontrollably the whole time. Yeah, I start, like, I cast, um, I'll cast um, Minor Illusion at some Ooh. point and oh, make yeah. the illusion of tiny fairies. <laughs> yes. And they just kind of like spin and like dance on the table or like, you know, fly in the air and we're just laughing. Um, hold on. <clears throat> Who knew? That Weverin toxin could be so fun. You could have had a great afternoon the other day. Can you? <sighs> oh. You know, uh, Rain. Maybe, maybe when when we when we fight Waverns next, we can try to extract the poison, and you can make something like this. <laughs> it would be fun. It would be really fun. Just think how much we can make from selling it. Exactly, or we just use it. Because this is really nice. <laughs> Gotta be careful uh, sampling your own wares. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Um. So while all of this is going on... Yeah, <laughs> Dracilia and Rosamond are... And Thiel is like, um... Okay drinking their wine and tea. <laughs> <laughs> normal wine and normal tea. I was about to say, not to be confused with yuan tea or wan tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> I mean, even the, the drink is pretty trippy. It's green with purple swirls. Hmm. Nice. Uh, Shelly says um, anytime and that uh, she will she and an escort will come pick you up or fetch you wherever um, we tell them to go. Uh, Rosamund nods. That, that sounds good. I, 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 that's, that's, where, where should we wait? Where should I wait? Um, um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, let's look at the map. I can, um, Dracilia says, hmm. Well, I suppose I could. Here's the thing. I do not want to take the teleportation circle outside of Alito to Gen right now. I don't want there to be... I don't want a record of where your sister has been. Um, it, it, we need to do this as discreetly as possible. Um, I could... I could request emergency transport to Vox and then have them meet us there. Um, and, or we could go on horseback and that way nobody would know where we were currently. I believe I can get her there safely. Um, I don't know. This, hmm, this ha like like I said, this has to be done discreetly. Um, I agree that it has to be done with discretion. Um, I'm not keen on. 
I agree with you. I'm not keen on um, there being some sort of record of her presence anywhere. Um, I'm also not sure about just sending you off on horseback, though. Um, she was captured while traveling, so... I'd like to make the trip as short as possible. Okay. I do have, and she thinks, this would be the time to use it. I do have a, I do have a scroll of teleportation. It, it's an emergency scroll. Um, we could use that. I've been to Gen before. I could bring her to Gen. I think that would work. I can bring her to Gen and your friend could pick her up there. I turned to Rosmond. Does that work for you? Yeah, that that works. That works. Um, Are you sure? I was hoping to spend a little more time with you, but I know you need to get to the Alfred estate. So, it, it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, I I I trust. If you trust your friend, then Shelley. Shelley. Yes. Then I have no reason to. I have no reason to. Um, uh, then I should be able to. To doubt. Her. No. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Um. Yeah. That. That's. That's fine. Um. Maybe. 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 Maybe I. We could. I could just rest here for the night, and then maybe in the morning before you. Before you leave, we could we can we can arrange all this. You would have to message your her Shelley again, I assume, just to tell her to pick me up again. Uh, yes. I I think that will work. I, yes, that that will work. Wonderful. Um, then tomorrow. Is um tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> are are you are you, are your friends all right? <laughs> they look probably a not loopy. Yeah, uh, as Melanie, are you seeing purple cats now? I'm there seeing is. That is a, uh, what are they called? Um, badger? There's a badger, and he's been dancing over there for a solid three minutes. He's doing the worm. Oh, oh, <laughs> now he's doing the macarena. Oh my goodness, it is adorable. <gasps> <gasps> my cat's dancing now, too. Oh, it's so cute. It's adorable. But now and he's melting. It's really weird. Oh. Tegan, what are you doing? Oh, goodness. I see blackbirds and they're doing barrel rolls interesting mm -hmm. nope 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 there there's there's a macaw with them now <laughs> <laughs> what's a macaw it, it, it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a brightly colored multicolored bird with bright colors mm -hmm. and a very a large beak uh i i a fr my friend had one once. It, it cracked a walnut with its beak. Very Based nice. off of his description, I like <laughs> kind of wave my hands around and try to cast Minor Illusion. <laughs> to, like what I think a macaw looks like based off of his description. Wow. <laughs> um... <laughs> it should look like that. And I just point to the center of the table where it's just like tilting its head looking yeah, at Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, smaller head. Smaller head, but yes, it looks like it's it, to the beak would be a little too big for it. Theo is blinking and <laughs> sighing. Strain <laughs> my ale. All the children. Iskin is just 
quietly drinking his tea. <laughs> um, and kind of whispers to, to Rain, and they say you're the weird one. <laughs> mm, takes all taps, I suppose. Mm-hmm. <sighs> At least the cheese plate's good. Um, okay. Well, Drusilla says, I, I suppose that settles it. Um, Thundrum will question me about why I had to use my emergency scroll, but I, I will deal with that when the time comes. And there's a rebellion happening, so I can make up a And dancing it. badgers. That could be a very good reason to leave the badger. Yes, he you has mischief in the by eye. Macaws. Yes. They seem like very vicious creatures <clears throat> as they change the macaw to look like it has like a very large beak with kind of like spikes in it for some reason. Ooh. It could be like that. Off to off from the corner, you so, you see Axe shaking her head. <laughs> um Okay, uh, I think we're, I think that should be, we should be, uh, I think that's a good place to stop for the night. Um, with oh good, because I'm exhausted. <laughs> with, with dancing animals of all sorts of colors and... So entertaining. Arranging. <laughs> oh no, not the badger! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Um, next game is... That's in my head now. Yeah. Next game yeah. is going to I be... I actually haven't seen that before, so... <gasps> yeah, they you have should. a lot of variations. Like, they do a one with football, like, soccer. <laughs> football. Yep. England, England is the mushroom part. <laughs> I don't know why. It's English and football. There we go. That could be what we're okay. watching. That's what you guys are watching. You're oh watching. My God. You're watching a badger breakdance with the DJ. That's rabbit. amazing. <laughs> I love it. It's really good. It's like Redwall, but not. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 